Come on. Come on, at least make yourself Can useful. Can you pour it down man. his neck? <laughs> make yourself useful. Cool. Right down it now. I don't think we want to down go Down it, mode, down really. it. What? Chug, so chug, chug. Shots, shots, shots. Who does Stu think he is with his long hair? Does he think he's Alan Wake? Wow, what are you saying? Do you think he's Alan Wake? Alan Wake? Yeah. I'm way No, I've seen Stu's writing. It's not that terrible. Ha, ha, ha. See what you did there. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mildred. You're very kind. See? Mildred. It's what Dorsey Because it would have taken a lot of work for him to get up and get his own fucking mm -hmm. Well, I'm about to take my headset off and, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bit of a pain. Mm -hmm. the, the list includes take my headset off. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. That's kind of it. That's the problem. <laughs> That's kind of it. Thank you. Oh, isn't she lovely? Look at her, lovely. <laughs> All right, are we ready to start? I think so. Jenny, you ready? What episode is it? Seven, Seven four, five. four, five. It's on the thing. I changed it the on notes. the thing, and it didn't change. Update. Changed it on the thing, but not you on the. Changed it on the restream. Is on the thing. What's this coming you up change now? It now? Oh my God! What's going on? No, it's on the video. It's on YouTube. It's fine. What's going on? Sorry, it just had a pop up on. I don't know. Okay, yep, it's fine. We'll go. Let's do it. All right. Let's start the motherfucking show, bitch. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Guard your ears. Welcome y'all to the veteran gamers. Choo choo chini, how the fellas will tell you about every single game that you play this week. We're not giving you money. News and an indie pick. Stu story time and Chini's game breakers. Here comes Duke with the soundbite savior. What's that weird cat? It's the veteran gamers. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Am I wrong? You're not wrong, Walter. You're just an asshole. Okay. Bitcoin ain't nothing but soy beans on the computer. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 745 of the Veteran Gamers Podcast. Yeah, 745, baby. What's up, people? I'm Duke. I'm Stu. And Chinny, Chinny, Chinny. Oh, Jesus. Shouting out Jacinta day. as soon as we start the podcast. They want me to shut up, so I'm going to have to talk fast. Maybe I'm a Swifty. I can't really say yet when it comes to games. However, yes, I am a vet. Hi, hi, I see on this week's show. Silly parodies of songs you know. Stuart, Chinny, and me. The stream is a go. Let all your friends know. Well, what I, the hell is going I, In the I, middle of the show, veteran gamers. Uh, 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 you should hear the shy we talk with the players. Uh, 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 yeah. In the Twitch and YouTube streams with six viewers. Uh, yeah. You know we're gonna whinge and whine. We're just wasting time. Are you ready for us? What the bloody hell? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. People know. People out there will know. It's okay. Don't worry if you don't know. Someone out there will know. Oh, I don't know. Mm hmm. It's okay. Cool people. I have no idea. So what's anyway, happening? What's happened? Something's happened. How's, what's going on? What's ha Something's happening. Something's definitely happening in your world. Yes. Something's happening. Yeah, Something's it's been a good happening. Sunday. That's what. Wow, what's mm. happened? Come on, let's explain. What's yeah, going on? Just a day off. We we took the plastic off the windows. We got a breeze coming through. Put the wow. screens up. I cleaned the screens. Went out for brunch. Brunch? Taking nice. it easy, what having did, a good what day. Did yeah. Avocado, smashed avocados. What did you have? Uh, Eggs Benedict. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah. Good. We got a spot near us. They do it upright. Good. No, it's good. Do you like a runny egg then? Do you like runny yolk? Yeah, I know you don't. <clears throat> or, yeah, <clears throat> whatever. Haters going to hate. Same. <clears throat> I just want to feel ill. <clears throat> anyway, how are you, Chinny? All right. Yeah. Oh, all, all right. right. You had a busy day, you done out exercising? Uh, cut the lawn. Oh, cut no, lawn. it's that time Whee! of year. I think that's it. We've been gardening oh, today, mm. but we potted some shit up and mm. got some new plants. Oh, yeah. so I've, I've had to do it with the full-on mask on. Oh, because of the, the, Ooh, the hay fever. Hay fever. Yeah. Now, yeah, let okay. me ask you a question, because... Yeah, did it help? Well, I haven't got... I haven't, I'm not sneezing, am I? So, well, that's yeah. good. All right, I guess so. 
Um, but yeah, I was going to ask you. You've got a big ass garden now, haven't you? It's not the it's not the smallest of gardens no. that garden. Here. I put, put it this so, way: I mowed for about two hours, and I didn't do it all. So what do you what are you are you on a sit on? Are you on a big no, one? No, a sit on. Have, have you have you literally just got a little fly mow? What what's happening? I'm, I've I went into the garage, and I I, I went right. I, do I even have a lawn mower? That's a start. Oh my god! And then, then I looked, went into the garage, and I went, oh, I've got a leaf blower. I mean, it's not a lawnmower, but it's close. If you blow the grass hard enough, it'll yeah, just fly, it'll fly off. off. But I do have a lot of bloody leaves in the garden, so I started with that, and then I did have a lawnmower. Um, and now this lawnmower has served me well when I had a when I had my previous house, but I didn't have a lot of grass in my previous house. No, this is a big lawn, isn't it? This lawnmower there? was looking at me, going, "What the fuck are you doing to me?" <laughs> You're um, kidding me? You're because kidding. every Kill me. Kill every me. like two minutes i had to empty it and I, it kept on getting stuck and blocked and it was just fucked <laughs> basically <laughs> so i'm gonna you need, you need one of two things Ginny, in this situation well i'm gonna get one of the two things you're gonna suggest i think so one one of them is a sit on lawnmower because no. obviously it's a big <laughs> asset and the, the other one is just somebody else to do it no i think <laughs> i did do that but the problem is now, I hope that he doesn't listen to the show. He definitely doesn't, but <laughs> we did have a gardener. And, um... He sucked ass. Was he a bit shit? He, he wasn't a bit shit. Answer. No, he did it. He did it. But he just wouldn't leave. What like he wouldn't leave? <laughs> like, oh, no. he just kept going. I saw, I, I, to one point, I said to him, like, he mowed the lawn, <laughs> and he was just trimming <laughs> hedges and stuff like that. Right? And there's a lot of stuff to trim down and everything. And I just said, like, at one point, I said, just stop doing it. Like, the lawn is the main <laughs> concern. And he was like, nah, you know. Uh, and he was really cheap as well. value for money. But he just wouldn't leave, and he was a bit weird and strange. I just, I just feel like this that's sounds like a good cheap because he's deal. so lonely and desperate. Yeah. But, like, he, 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 then I found out that he was... <laughs> Not a good thing that he's lonely and desperate. That's I found out thing. that he had, like, a full-time job, like, a proper job. He was, like, a civil engineer. He did gardening <laughs> on, on nights and weekends, and... He cleans windows and gutters. I'm like, and he's got two kids and a wife. I'm like, fucking Maybe go he hates home. His kids and his wife. Go he wants home. to just. I like the plants. I want to spend more time this with the plants. This sounds like this sounds like a win-win. <laughs> no, I mean, it was, hell, he no. can do everything. He can do everything for no, you. No, I just gutters, no. Clean your windows, do your garden. At a certain point, you want him to fuck and off cheap. and go home. Yeah, I yeah. mean, hell, what more can you well, ask for? That's the magic uh, word for stupid. Yeah, cheap, man. Ding, ding, ding. It's cheap just because he, anything. he would block the drive, and you can't leave the house, and. Oh, it's just like, I can't settle. Well, did you know he mean? force you to stay there, did he? Yeah. And You're it's not just, leaving now. Oh, God, just leave, man. I, I, I feel like I can't settle down if somebody's in the garden. Like, you know, I feel bad, you know. He's like, Well, yeah, exactly. You know, so I'm constantly Anytime like... Anytime you're paying workers to do work, and same with our plow, when they come to clear our driveway, he'll sh he'll shovel off, like, we got, like, three steps leading into the house, and he's shoveling them. I'm like, fuck, just leave that. Go the fuck away. I want to go to work. I'm talking about people around your house, right? And I'm, I'm definitely touching on territory here that I... I, I, I obviously, yeah. I, I don't think this electrician will listen to we this. We hate blue-collar people. That's what so it is. This Working this, class, this, fuck this, off. This electrician, I've got this. Spark is the worst, dude, because they turn up, flick a switch, and go, fuck it, oh, yeah. $175, 150 quid, yeah. please. Yeah, right. they are a rip off. All right, anyway, um, so I've got this guy around. Try yourself, you know, fry your brains, go ahead. I've got this guy around, and put it this way I've got four jobs that I need this man to do. Four, right? Yes. Right. Two of them I could probably have a go at myself, probably. Right. Okay. What are they? Come on. Let's no, the, what the, the easy ones. Do. The easy ones yeah, are. Yeah, the, yeah. I've got these two lights. One at the front. One at the back. And they're just like sensor lights. You know, like little sensor mm -hmm. lights. And I wanted to replace the one at the front with a with a sensor light, but it's also a camera as well. So that's just a oh, case okay. of like clipping it, putting it in, right? Yeah, rewiring uh, it. Uh, yeah, and then done. then just replacing an old one at the back because it doesn't work, right? Yep. Okay. Sure. Now, those ones, I'm like, I could have a go at those, right? Fine. Yeah, yeah, it's just wiring but, it, and you've just got to screw it up afterwards. But he's got these two other things that I can't do, right? So I've got right. this, which is install my bloody um, Google Nest. So it's like a, a, one of those thermostats that connect to your phone. But but, but you got to you got to fuck with the boiler for that stuff, right? And I'm like, yeah, I ain't touching that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and then the other one is to have some plugs at the front of the house, 
Um, so I've got power at the front of the house, you know, if I want yeah, to do so any garden. Drill wall so I've got to like, like loop. come off, uh, come off another socket. Yeah, and can't yeah, do yeah, that. No, don't, don't be messing with that. Right, shit. my brother can do it, but he's on a bloody boat in God knows where at the moment. So yeah. Um, so I, I said to the guy, I said, just come around to these things, and while you're here, do these two other things that I could probably have a go at, but you what? just do them, right? He came round. He did the fucking two easy things, and he says, "I'm going to have to come back for the two other things." I'm not easy. He's charging another day rate. And I another said, "Yeah, rate. but like, I, but no, I asked him. I says, is that another call out though?'" And he was like, "No, no, I won't charge you another call out." I was like, "All right, <laughs> fair enough." So, so he, whoa, whoa, just a minute. You see, I don't think that electrician should charge a call out <laughs> unless it's an emergency. If it's like planned work, that's well, not pay, like they, a they charge call an out. emergency charge for an emergency. No, no, they're, they're, they're the tied to be a call. Fee, well, yeah, no, a call out fee is for if you've got something you don't know what it is. You show up. And they need to yeah, get them to out show up. It's to call out. They, you see, call but, them out, they have a fee. No, I think that's, I think that's a bit. Anyway, a bit I said, cheeky, I said, um, can you, oh, can you not park there? Can you move it? And he charged me 20 quid for that. You know what I mean? They'll just charge you for everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah, no. But hey ho. But like you know, as long as when you've got like you want to electrocute yourself, go ahead. When you got somebody around doing like the carpets or they're they're doing like plastering or whatever, at least like that's done. But with a gardener, it's a relationship. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 yeah. a it's a partnership. Keep going back, same with a hairstylist. And I just didn't have I didn't gel with this guy. Right, he was a nice guy, but I was like, yeah, sure. I'm just worried about his family life, and like he's got like 16 <laughs> jobs, and I'm like, just and that no, it was too stressful. I just yeah. need someone that like i can just trust yeah. and just say like just do it and leave and i don't want you here you see I, i'm i'm the kind of person who i've pretty much a go at anything in the house diy i've heard I'll just have a yeah. go, right? i've been i've been around with you in PC london with fucking um, hacksaw this is this is a true story right we've got obviously central heating the same as you Ginny, <laughs> like most people in the uk mm -hmm. and the, the controller the controller stuff was being weird right it wasn't working properly <clears throat> So it was coming on, but it wasn't heating up the water. Mm. I'd had a plumber out to check. This is a video valves. game podcast, by the way. Just we will plug. We'll talk about video games. At some I'd, had a, I'd had a plumber out, check the valves and all that stuff seemed to be <laughs> fine. So he, he was like, oh, dude, I, th I think he had three different people out. And they were all like, oh, dude, what's, why it's not working. Nothing to do with me, mate. Yeah, I understand. So I did a bit of Googling. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I could come up with was the controller was faulty somehow. And it wasn't turning it on when it should have been turning it on. So okay. I went to the local builders merchants berries and said, Look, got a controller, it's only been installed however many years you ago. You don't need to relay the story. You told no, them well, the there's problem. A, well there's a, there's, a, there's significance to it. So the guy at There's at a Berry, reason, Chinny. When is Stu ever told Berry a story said, with elements that don't matter? Don't don't worry, mate. We've got one here and it was that it was like ninety quid. It wasn't like a huge amount of money, it was about ninety For quid. you. And he said Yeah, really. Don't it worry. Mean. It's on a, it's on a universal backplate, and your other one will be. So you literally just like unclip it, it, off. Pull it, pop, pop it, it off, and clip the new one on. Jobs, you know, jobs are good, and Bob's your Which uncle, is... Fanny's your auntie, yeah. all that shit. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How long was you in this shop? Was did he just keep going? Easy peasy yeah. lemon squeezy. All these country <laughs> you're saying. Break a leg. Uh, fridge yeah. your yeah. nose. Pu push your fridge Susan down the hill. Down, butt cheek. So <laughs> I got this thing home. Cheese up the ass. This is going to take me the best part of five, ten minutes at the most. So yeah, I turned, off, turned the electric off. Unclip the old I'm gonna one. Guess pulled it all that out. It didn't do that. Got the new one out. <laughs> Have you heard this already? Different size of back oh. plate, so it didn't ah, fit at all, right? Christ, Bob's not your uncle, for so fuck's for, sake. Fatty, he's what, not your aunt. So this is, so for what the hell am I going to do? <laughs> I kid you not, there's probably about eight, nine, ten wires going into this back plate. I mean, yeah. there is a fucking shit ton of wires into it, right? Yeah, if it's more than one, so, I'm fucked. So I'm like... <laughs> That's why you gotta have the what electrician. What am I gonna do? Me. I can phone in the what? electrician. How the fuck much is that gonna cost me at this point? Fuck it, I'll just have a go. So I literally took photographs of it, right? Yeah. Labelled every single wire, which socket it went in, like which thing it went into, did all of that, took it all off, unwired it all, wired up the new one, put it all on, Clipped it in, still going now. <laughs> no problems. I wanted you to end that as, then it exploded. 
no, no. And then I have had it. my testicles got fried. I have had problems with doing stuff like this because I did. I have. Re we have a power shower. No, 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 no. You done. You you did it. You told no, the story. No, I wanna, no, 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 dude. This is I want to hear a story where he fucks it up. Oh, this this did go completely wrong. Oh, the power yes. shower. The power so shower. So we have a power shower, right? And obviously you need to get it to work. You have an impeller pump, and every now and again they go because you know they're on all the time. Every time you have a shower. Yeah. And it went. So I was like, I'd already changed it once. So I'm like, I know what I'm doing. I can no fucking problems. do it again. I can fucking do it again. No problems. I'm a man. Easy. So I went and got a new one, came home, started doing it. Don't worry, and, Kai. It'll be done. And the, I can't remember what happened, but I think one of the, when I screwed it in, it just wouldn't seal. And it was leaking. Right. Leaking. And it got yeah. to a point where it was dripping downstairs. Mm. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to need to get someone out. So I had to pay for someone that time. It, it, was, it wasn't great. Sorted out. So yeah, so I did. I did okay. Right, video but games. I've games before. We have problems. Yeah, so, I believe yeah. you. Video games, video games, video games, okay. video games. Where are you going? Story time's over. What you been playing? What you been playing? What you been playing? I will start things off. First oh my of all, god! By Ooh. saying, Shinny, taking charge. By, oh. by saying, you hello, James, anything. James Bevan. He's in the chat. Hello, James oh, yeah. Bevan. Hello, James. James. Um, we we said this at the end of last week's show, but we 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 might have a meet up in London in June ish, maybe. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so mark your calendars for just all of June. Just all of just block gamers, it out mark? because Fraser yeah. from Canada um, is coming over in June, so he's going to be in touch. You Canadians are all the same. With Yes, with your beard. Yeah, we just need eyes. dates. Dates. We just people. need dates, and he hasn't texted me since. Dates. He wants to go on dates. Yeah. Yes, I want so, to run a date with Fraser because I love him. That's the thing. So that, that we might do something in London yeah. in June. Anyway, um, I think we should kick it off with yeah. a bit of play my game, bitch. All right, we're going straight into straight this. Straight in. Bitch, 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 bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Play my, play my, play my game, my game, my game, my game, play my game, bitch. This is where we all play the same game. Usually something on Xbox Game Pass. This week, yep. EA Sports presents PGA Tour, the road to the Masters Golf Game Sports, yep. EA, PGA. Fuck's sake, 17 surnames. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so yeah. it's golf. Golf Yeah. club. Oh, golf club. Is it a golf club? Oh, no, sorry. Basically, it's the same it's, thing. It's, well, it is and it isn't. Because it is no, it is well, it kind of, but I'll be honest, I use this obviously flick the stick shit, mm. right? And is there any way not to do a full power shot? Because if there is, I haven't figured it out. Not yeah, to do you, a full you, when, power okay, shot, okay? So, okay, so for those who don't instantly know what we're talking about, this is a golf game in which, um, every year, of course, EA puts out a new version of this and. This time, uh, the last one I played, I don't remember the last one I played. I have it installed on Steam, so it's like now I got two golf games installed on Steam. But the last one I played was like 2019, maybe 2020, one of those. Um, and uh, but 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 uh, oh no, where is? It? Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, 2019 was the last one I played. So um, basically, you you pull the stick down to go back swing, and then you push it forward to, to do the front swing. If you only pull it back halfway and then you do your front swing, it'll only do half power. Yeah. It wouldn't let me do it. When I tried to, it just flicked back down to the bottom. That's it insane. It wouldn't let me. It did, I'm telling That's you now, right? I tried you, to do a you, half swing. You and are it crazy. Let me did you pull do it back and then push it forward or did you just pull it back and push yeah, it to the middle? Yeah, of course did. I pulled it back and oh, pushed it forward. Because I've been I doing half. I've I been couldn't doing seem half to do it, so what, it must be just me. I don't know. I mean, I, I think, yeah, it. I think last week we established that if you don't like the way a game mechanic works, it's because you fucking Maybe suck I and you're suck terrible and you need to get good. And I, fuck I you. am not disagreeing. Yeah. I will. I will yeah, give okay. it another go. <laughs> Uh, before uh, next I actually week. don't oh, think I that's the case, but you just had to. No, no, I, I, I don't know what I don't know what you're. I think you're on crack because yeah, I did. I did like <laughs> if I wanted to look do a little little less power, I would. I, I could yeah. do it. No problem by not pulling back too much. Mm. Anyway, this is really well done. I'm I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the graphics came. are great. I did get a bunch of stuttering. Uh, okay. I feel I, I, maybe it's my PC. I should turn the graphics quality down it's or something. Pretty. But it was a little weird. Mm. It is very pretty. 
Um, the thing that bugged me was, you know, I've been playing the 2019 one a lot since 2019, strangely enough. Mm. And so my, not only have I gotten used to the mechanics of it because it's a little different every year. Right. But your character levels up as well. So they do the thing where you have a character and you can like, now maybe y'all were playing with Jack Nicholas or one of the greatest golfers. No, ever. I might, my, my, uh, no, just my mail. Okay. Just my mail. Fair enough. So it was frustrating to me the first round I played because I kept, you know, it would say your ball is going to land here and then it fucking landed over there. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? Turns out part of that is me getting used to the mechanics and part of it is um, my character just leveling not being up. very good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when I leveled it up, it was like getting better, getting better, putts go where they're supposed to. And it's like, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. But yeah, no, I did all right. I mean, I was, I think it was about three over on the first round. I never got played. any, I never got under par once. No, three <laughs> over. Wow. Uh, oh, oh, under par. Yeah. Uh, but I, I played, know. I played St. Andrews. So I went straight into, straight to a classic course. Classic. You know, classic course. Classic. And then mm. I thought, right, well, let's give the three click method a go because obviously oh, you yeah. can still play mm, that way. That's the old school classic. Old way. school. And that was awful. Mario yeah. Golf. Yeah, I, it, hated they, it. I think they, I don't, I, it, they just, it doesn't work the way it used to. It doesn't to, seem to click where you want it. You click and then it, yeah. it stops after you've clicked. And I'm like, what it's the hell? To, you have to, you have Is to read like? the way it's moving. I know. Yeah, I was I, like, I, I fuck that shit. And yeah, I did real exactly. bad. I think they it was really six want you over, to do the joystick. Six thing. over yeah, on that. I was terrible. I mean, uh, past the days of that. At this point, it's pretty hard to fuck up a golf game, though, isn't it? You it know is the I mean? only it's... thing I would say about this. The character you'd, you'd really have to fuck it up terrible. by like. You'd really have to fuck it up by putting like a dinosaur in it or something. Well, like. you would. <laughs> but um, that's the thing is that once upon a time, I loved Hot Shots Golf. That was the classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something different over there, I think. But it was it was great because it's everybody's like fun golf. golf. It's everybody's golf. Everybody's golf. So. I, I would love to have another fun golf game. It's I feel like there isn't really a fun golf game right now. There is a There's Mario like golf. some miniature there golfs. Golf. There's well, I'm talking about for cool people to play, not Nintendo fanboys. Um, you see, I remember I had everybody's golf on the PS4, and it had Kratos. Yes. Yeah. Kratos is a, as a playable see? character, Why and he not? had his golf club was on the end of a chain. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, he needs a bit of downtime, doesn't he? Indeed. It was it was so <laughs> cool though playing as Kratos and he was just yeah. really swinging. The other, the other thing I like about this game is that um in the other one that I played, like when you you know, twenty nineteen golf club, like you'd get a shot in and then you'd just be like waving to the crowd. That's it. And this time, like she's smiling, she's like, you know, giving uh, yeah. a little fist pump. It's like it's nice to have a little bit of you know, now again, I liked everybody's golf hot shots because you would like dance around and like, you know, get a oh, birdie yeah. and you're just like, yeah. Like I want my character to be showing some, you know, having fun. It um, should just be more fun. Yeah. There was a, the, the other thing I would say criti criticism wise, there was a, a bit of weird inconsistency with the voiceover stuff. Well, because yeah, yeah. there was some there well, was just too I, much of it. Well, there's too much, but the two guys who do the the vast majority of the voiceover sounds really professional, professionally recorded. Yeah. And then every now and again, I get a woman on who sounded like she'd recorded it in a tin can. So, so what that is is, um, <laughs> so every time you get on a green, he goes, "Oh, I was a so and so professional, right?" So that's a professional. That's a yeah. real professional that's talking, right? And obviously, they haven't got him in the studio, have they? So it's like, fuck no, it, just, it just, do, it, just do it over Zoom or whatever, you know? Yeah, so, that's so like, exactly what he sounded and like. And it was like, oh, you better watch the screen because it goes to the right and it's a bit trickier. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, yeah. It's and good. I I would. And they're eating crisps. They're like, off, you, better watch this, you better watch this screen because. Uh, <laughs> <I think, laughs> do you hear a crackle? Uh, it's, I wish you could have the frequency of the commentary turned down because I don't want to turn it off. But I do want them to shut the fuck up more. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. But I mean, it's this is I'm gonna uninstall the other one because this is now you know it's a yeah. really good golf game. Yeah, I'm like, gonna keep know, this on pretty, my hard drive. Of courses. Yeah, it, I have. It's, it's, you it's, can't beat a get around the golf every night. Yeah, it's it's just yeah, exactly. it's just nice and relaxing. steady, isn't it? It's just steady. Yeah. And I, good I, I played spoiled. I, I played this while while watching a YouTube video at the same time and just oh, I was just enjoying it. I just you know I played a few holes and did a bit of my career and. I, I like, like the it. putting, by the way. But there was some yeah. inconsistency with the putting. Sometimes the line would turn up, and then sometimes it just didn't. No, it always like, turns up, but you've got to wait. 
And you got to ah. write. Yeah, yeah. Because or I noticed that sometimes you have to go to the putt because yeah. there's like the looking at a distance and then there's like approaching the putt. Mm -hmm. And so like once you approach the putt, it'll always put the line in. I don't know. Yeah, about but sometimes the line's in when it's not. Sometimes it isn't when it is. I don't know. It's a bit weird. It always turned up for Again, me. I, I, I don't know what version of the game you games. played, Stu, but it seems to be Stu played a game where... I'm just telling you what happened in Did you play it on the Steam Deck? No, you suck is the problem. No, I didn't, no. I played it on the... Oh, that would have got... I played all of these on it. That would have got in then. You know, it's probably the Steam Deck. Then. Yeah, I'll just do yeah, it on right. cloud. I'll just do it on cloud. Oh, that's so. probably another reason as well. Yeah, Final Fantasy possibly. 7? Possibly. Um, yeah, I, lo I like the putting system because they never used to give you a preview of the line. And even though it no, does no, it no. does give you a preview of the line, you think, oh, it's got, this yeah. is going to make it easy, but it doesn't. <laughs> It's still it the other thing I really like because you don't because the idea is like you just aim to the rightmost part of that line. Yeah. No, if you do too far, eh. yeah. So. Did you did you notice it? And this could be me again being wrong, but I think this is correct. Did you notice how they represented the wind speed um, with a little arrow? Well, there's a little a arrow, but also I had to, and I, I may have just imagined this. But you know the golf line when you you're about to say you, it, it was sort of wavering around like going from side to side and I think I'm like, did you play the win? same game as us? I'm Were you saying, on drugs when you played this I game? What are you talking know. about? The line I'm, was wavering. It, it was no. moving about. I'm like, oh, that's kind of a cool <laughs> little thing if it is. But maybe it wasn't. And the I rainbow colors are all swirling in the <laughs> sky. Yeah, I, uh, too, I don't the, know if you played the same <laughs> game here. I know, right? And the crowd, can I just say? You played psychedelic golf the crowd on some of the courses was like sounded natural and on others it was really loud <laughs> some of the crowd i'll tell you noise. i was glad the crowd was there at one point my ball was going into the rough and yeah. it hit someone's foot and bounced onto the green <laughs> yeah. I was like, is that yes. true yeah that's, that's yes, awesome. it really happened yeah i wanted more reaction is this from your it, ball though? shooter it struck my foot yeah, yeah i wish i wish I, I really wish like there was an animation for when you hit the crowd but there yeah. wasn't but, ah! yeah, yeah. No, I really like that. Motherfucker, but, my yeah, foot! I do like the. Get your foot away from my ball, dumbass! Because I I don't watch golf, so I like I like Hell, the no, no. the um the sort of crowd talking. And then when you approach the ball, they quiet and down. I like that. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really yeah, cool. Sure, sure, sure. I hadn't seen well, that. Well, they got a guy golf. there standing with a sign. It's like quiet, please. Oh, do they? I didn't. They don't show that. it on here, but that's yeah. what happens in a real golf game. Right? Yeah. yeah. No, I just like yes. that. I like I like the crowd. Yeah, so no, it it's does good. it does create an atmosphere when you're playing. You know. So. Yeah. And of uh, course, I'm like, oh, I want to buy a better shirt. I want to buy this. I want to buy that. And it's like they don't have – on the last 2019, they had, like, all these different things you could buy. And some of them you had to unlock by doing challenges and stuff. Now it's, like, six items, and it, like, refreshes once a week or something. And it's like, ah, forget that mm. mess. Because, of course, that you can buy it with real money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck out of here. Bullshit. Cash so, is king. Yep. Um, Road to the Masters PGA Tour. Not bad. I think it's a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah, yeah, thumbs, thumbs up, up from me. Yeah, Very no, good. Like Three Very thumbs. good. Three thumbs. Yeah. Three big thumbs. Although I played it a completely different game. Yeah, it sounds so. like you played hockey or something. I, I did, don't know what I you did. I just I don't, I don't know, know what, what I played. played. What did Drug I play? golf. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, right. <laughs> Who's going? Uh, shall I go? Shall go I for go? it. Yes. Go for it. Go okay. For it. I'm, I'm. Well, I'm carrying on with going down the rabbit hole of visual novels. Uh, oh, yeah. so, oh boy. so I played another one this week. The first chapter was free, so I'm like, well, that's a decent. The price, price is right. Price is right. So it was uh, free. Yeah, it was totally free. Uh, the full game. F I think R -E -E, it's about, free, no charge. I think it's about twenty quid. So it's a it's a fair amount. It's a fair whack of money. Uh, if I decided to play the whole game. But I'll just well I'll give it I'll give the first episode a go and it's called the letter. The letter. Oh, by the so way, why did you choose this one? In the chat, uh, somebody else, James Bevan says, was Stu playing it on the Steam Deck? Uh, and also, <laughs> I um, thought you were referencing that. Uh, uh, Darren Darren Sim said everybody's golf was great and Limmy used to play me uh, everybody's golf. Limmy's a, a very funny Scottish comedian. Yeah. That's what they call the limo driver. Uh, the, uh, okay, the letter, the letter, the, the letter. The yes, I was playing this on the Steam Deck. Can I just say? Because all these sorts of games. Why'd you choose work. this of all the visual novels in the world? Uh, because it had, it had sort of had, because I don't know anything so about. Well, that was part of it. I don't know yeah. anything about visual novels, so I googled what are the best visual novels on Steam. Okay, okay. Like, that's probably the best place to start. And this came up as one of the top ten visual novels on Steam. So I was like, right, let's give it a whirl then. 
Uh, it's it basically well. a rip-off of Ring or any of those types of movies, uh, Japanese no. type things. It's fully voice acted badly. Nice. So <laughs> I'd still prefer that than reading. You probably would. It, you do. I did find myself getting used to it. Some some voice actors were better than others. So the the, the they're not all they are sort of different levels of, of of bad, you know. So some were really really bad. Some were just moderately bad. Uh, I don't think any of them were good. <laughs> I don't think I was like, oh yeah, they're pretty good, pretty good voiceover actor there. Yeah, most of them weren't great. And the story revolves around this mansion that's got a curse, and <gasps> you're the real estate agent trying to sell it. So that's that's basically the first. But you play as different characters throughout the the episodes, from what I can gather. So you don't or you don't play as the same character in every episode. And bad shit happens. So you know shit goes down. You go to the. You know, to the mansion to sell it, and there's this like yeah. you know, weird shit going on. And this when is Stu- by the way, for the audio listeners, nice. when Stu describes this game, every time we play some gameplay of it, it's just a woman talking and standing well, there. That's kind and, of the and keep in she mind, blinks. his biggest beef, his biggest beef of Starfield was you're just staring at the person while you're having a conversation. <laughs> Who wants to do that? Yeah, but the whole game is that. This is all I see on this. This is the whole game. What's Skip ahead 10 weird? minutes, Chinny. I'm what? sure we'll see some much more interesting What's graphics and action. Weird? What's kind of weird is the char- like this character that you can see on screen now has got pink hair and pink eyes. That is weird. It's like, why does the character have the same colored eyes as her hair? What's- because this game is made for uh, fucking hentai-loving tentacle porn well, watchers. Well, hold up a minute. There is no skimpy clothing. There is no, like... Oh, yeah, the woman with the large chest wearing the skin-tight Women are allowed is- to have boobs. Totally. You mean it's sexualized, Duke. Do you just look at boobs and think they're sexual, even if they're just behind the big jumper? Is that the way your mind works? Just saying. She's literally got a big. Hey, I didn't on. choose to play this game. You chose to play Just it. We're looking at the fucking large... foyer of a mansion. There's like three portraits of so women, and they all no, happen to look exactly to like anime ladies. We need to go over this. So you're saying because she's got big boobs, it's sexualized? Is that so? I'm saying when the guys who make these games and shows it's draw not, the there's women, there's nothing sexualized about it. Chitty, back okay. you up on all this. Right. There is nothing sexualized about these characters. Nothing. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. What are to are say. any of them wearing skimpy clothing, for instance? Um, there's. First of all, I didn't say they were sexualized. I said you that she implied, was wearing a tight sweater and she has a large chest because that's a choice made by the artists. Yeah, but it's just a girl in a sweater. If it's you funny think how so often there's girls with sweaters and oh, they're well, always well, wearing pink She's not wearing hair anything. And they're just like, really? Those are the two options, huh? Wow, I, I don't even know where to go because not all the characters. Look, hey, if you, like, you like this game, you like this game. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I'm, I'm skipping, I'm skipping through the gameplay that. footage, right? And I yes, barely see looks, any. Oh, oh, we had some bloody feet. I, I barely see any characters. Most of it is just fucking Correct. buildings. There is not. There's which, not which, nothing that. I mean, I don't want to. I don't defend hentai here, but buildings is fucking worse. They're not sexy Correct. at all. No, there's nothing. <laughs> it that depends on what kind of hentai you're into. Yeah. There's some really sexy I've, I've, building yeah. hentai. Yeah. <laughs> the think, coming out the windows. <laughs> I think you you automatically think because it's Japanese, it's got to be that, and it isn't. So you, no, you I'm assuming based on the many, 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 many games I've seen on Steam that yeah, are but this isn't that. sex simulators, <laughs> dating sims. Okay, fine. Yeah. So I'm wrong. This one well, time well, out of seventy three right? times. Isabella, on screen now. Is there anything? Fine, I'm wrong. About I take it back. No, Jesus no, there Christ, isn't. there's nothing sexual in this game. Okay, fine. There isn't. There absolutely. Why don't you isn't. tell us what there is in the game now? That build. Uh, that building's pretty sexy though. Yeah, that building. It's a Zarbucks. <laughs> if you said that they've done a like that one, building. It's, uh, it's it's set in some sort of weird fictionalized UK, but the place that it's called is called some really weird name the city that it's meant to be set in Very London odd. with two ends. well I, I wouldn't have even realised it was meant to be set in the UK until someone referred to some currency in pounds it's like oh that'd be 200 pounds or something I was like huh it's, it's meant to be in the UK because it does, definitely doesn't look like the UK what's all that about um, but yeah so it's basically a horror story about this curse you're selling this mansion 
and you get a ch- basically a ch- old fashioned chain letter. Oh yeah. So it's an old oh, yeah. fashioned chain letter that says like "Help me" on it in blood, <laughs> written in blood. And then at the bottom it says, "Like give this to five other people." So that's what it so it right. says. And then there's this creepy ghoul thing, and yeah, you kind of build relationships with the people in the like in the game, and that that goes up and down. So it's it's a bit like you know one of these meters that says whether they like you or not, or whether they don't like you, and. There's a dude who's like got a new film and you go to the movies. It's very mundane. Is that character's name called Ash Hole? No, she calls no, his name is Ash, he, but she, she calls, calls him, him Ash Hole because he's a bit of a twat. It is a very sophisticated uh, song. <laughs> uh, but writing wise, actually, it's pretty good. I quite mm. like the writing. It's, it's kind of funny. Um, and the they've all Ash got quite Hole, good man. characters. They've all got like quite a bit of character about them. So I kind of like that as well. Uh, and there's a big cast. There's a massive cast. I am debating. I did enjoy it. I finished the first episode. It ended in a... It was shit. The ending was horrible. Some horrible shit went down. Um, <laughs> but I don't feel like there's any way I could have prevented the horrible shit that happened, as far as I can tell. I don't know. There's there's no clear indicators as to what I did wrong, from what I can recall, yeah. but obviously... That's life. It went wrong. Okay. It did go wrong. Uh... I am kind of intrigued to see, intrigued to see what else happens, but I don't know whether I'm intrigued enough to spend twenty quid on it. I don't know. I don't um, know. I'm going to spoil that for you. No. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think I have. I would, I would probably re- if it was free. Put it on your or, wish list. Get it yeah, when it's cheap. Yeah, I think about wait see if it goes on sale in one of the Steam sales. Because I would, yeah. I would probably play it if it was cheap enough. Sure, you yeah, I think I'm on wish list. I kind of liked it. You can say that about got... any game, though, Shoot, to be fair. I know. I've got another one for next week, so I'm going to start another one this week. So, What's it called? Uh... Hentai Bad Bitches? Uh, no, this one's called Steins Gate <laughs> Sexual Misdemeanors. There yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. There you go. Just for Duke. <laughs> nice. Okay. And uh, all of the characters are completely naked. Yeah. Better. Yeah. Speaking Stu. of cheap games, Ghost Runner yeah. is free on the Epic Game Store, so... Then. Indeed, it's like the human centipede, but using their sexual organs. <laughs> yeah, no, all right. Okay. I look forward to seeing that footage. There you go. <laughs> Bet you can't wait now. Oh yeah. Go <laughs> yeah. well, on, Duke. Yeah, Duke. Yeah. What have you been playing? <laughs> Playing all the Starfield, GTA and Stardew, Rocket League exploding all the goals and all the cars too. Stu can play the Was games, Chinny does it hold up, Alatro's out, I guess it's easy come and easy fold up. I, I see these two are confused, but everybody cool out there is enthused. Haters gonna hate, so bring it biatch. I just fell on my bottom into some butterscotch. In the middle of the show baby all right um yeah you're welcome what the hell is going (laughs) don't worry about it don't worry about it someone's gonna maybe the per maybe people will write in saying hey i love the thing that duke did and they'll explain what it is for the people who don't know but if you don't know that's okay just let it happen shoot just let it happen okay starfield yeah is a game made by bethesda and i am a huge bethesda fanboy uh so i've been playing more of that and they did something this time which i feel like they haven't really done before and that is make a bad game. I mean, I, I, no, it's not that it's a bad game. It's that they forced stealth, and I guess it wasn't a really f- enforced. It was basically like the the company you're working for, Reusion Industries, was like, okay, you need to plant this thing in someone's computer. And I said last time that I just waltzed in, and the guy didn't even do anything. Oh, so yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I Uh-oh. guess they're not taking stealth very seriously. No now. problem. Well, hey, now Bob. they are. <laughs> yeah. And, and worst of all, they were like, you're going to have to break into this company and plant something in your boss's computer. And I was like, why? That makes no sense. If you wanted to have enforced, you know, stealth, like have me break into some other company. No, you're going to have to break into this company. And you have this gun that will like shoot electromagnetic pulses. So it just like fries the person's nervous system and basically knocks them out for a little oh, while. Yeah, that's not very uh, 
Yeah, it's like whatever. And so I, I, I was doing the stealth. I actually did. There were two enforced stealth missions, and I did the first one. I was like, yes, I made it through the whole thing. And it was a big pain in the ass because, as I said last time, it's hard to tell where you're supposed to go sometimes. So the second one, I was just like sneaking around, trying to figure. It, I couldn't figure it out. Finally, I was like, oh, I gotta go all the way over there. I was like, fuck this, and I just ran over to it, pushed the button, and then ran back to where I was supposed to go. And then I got the one thing, and then it was like, go get the other thing. And I was like, I don't know where it is. And I was running around there, shooting at me. And I was like, fuck this. And I was like, brr, brr, and like took a bunch of the guards out. And then I got the thing and I left. And of course, you know, as soon as you leave, you know, the alarms stop and you're just waltzing out of the company. And you know, I just killed seven people, whatever. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but well, at least it does an insta failure. At least it's an insta failure. At least it doesn't. That's true. That's the nice thing about it. So I go back to my boss and she's like, I thought we were clear. You weren't supposed to kill anybody. Uh, going quietly. And I was like, Hey, I I did what I had to do, you know. What what do you want? At least I got the job done. I got I get I get the job done. <laughs> yeah, whatever. They give way. you a new tech in this Ryujin. Th the best reason to do the Ryujin quest line spoilers is because you get an implant that allows you to control other people's minds. Oh, so oh, this okay. was the thing that should have made the stealth mission a lot easier because if you're at a distance from these people and they don't see you. You can control their minds and make them go somewhere else or like go, fight with each other. Go have a poo. Uh, go have a poo. <laughs> you really okay. need to use the bathroom you right really now. You really need yeah. to poo. But it didn't work as well as it should have. So like I told the one dude to run back and he did. But then the other dude was like, why is he running over there? And they assumed there was something. And so there were like six guards suddenly in the room. And I was like, ah. This isn't hey, making it easy. Hey, Gary's acting weird. He keeps running back there for some reason <laughs> and having yeah, poos exactly. in the Gary, okay? corner of the room. <laughs> Maybe it's yeah. that mind so control I mean, device that we're protecting. <laughs> yeah, probably is. Now, the, the thing that they improved the most from Fallout and Skyrim or Elder Scrolls is that space. when you finish, a, 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 well, there's space, but that was in Fallout. When you finish a quest line in those other games, a lot of times, like, you become the leader of whatever group it is, right? So in Skyrim, you do the companions quests. You're the leader of the companions. You do the stuff for the Mages Guild. Now you're going to be the... You're the CEO leader of, of the everything. <laughs> exactly. It's really silly. In this game, they're not doing that. You become a senior operative for Ryujin, but you're not the CEO all of a sudden, which is good. I like that. Hey, However, person that doesn't this... speak... You're now the president of everything. <laughs> we met you three days ago, but we really want you to be I already the CEO like the, the cut of your jib. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they do this thing where it's like, okay, are we going to release this mind control tech into the world or not? Are we going to take over this other company or not? Are we going to move our headquarters or not? Play again. We met you three days ago. Why don't you make these decisions for are the we company? Gonna, uh, you should be making decisions like, are we going to use big pens or paper mate pens? Exactly. Yeah, there company. You go. So, I, I would like it if we, we I got to make like one of the decisions, but for me to make all three of those decisions is a little stupid. So, whatever, it's fine. Do you think um, we should use the glossy paper for print for the printer, <laughs> or just the normal stuff? Oh, I need more time to decide. Can you tell me the pros and cons okay, again. I can't decide this. <laughs> um. The other thing about Starfield is, and I'm having a lot of fun. Like, don't let me throw you, like, the the times I'm having fun, I'm not writing down. Ooh, I'm having fun. Because yeah. there are a lot of fun things about That's what Starfield. I write on my notes but a lot is having fun. Having more having fun. Having, fun. Oh. having a little bit less about, fun. Like, the golf game, yeah. But I'm still yeah, exactly. having fun. Woo. I wrote woo and then dot, 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 and then who. Yeah. So, uh. <laughs> um, yeah, I've heard good things, Darren, about the Fallout show. And, yeah, there's all Ooh, sorts yeah, of sales. I've heard, I've heard lots of good things. Yeah, we it. need, shall we try and watch I the first episode? First that, episode that, for next week. No spoilers, no spoilers. No, I haven't yep. seen it. I haven't seen it. That's what I'm saying. We should watch it okay. for next week. Just letting everyone know. Don't come okay. to me with spoilers. Okay. Well, there's but no way I'm going to watch it. Uh, I don't know. No, just In this the first, game, episode. first episode. First episode. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this game. For fuck's sake, just watch oh, no, it. Did right. you say you want us to commit to that? No, I'm not yeah. committing to nothing. Commit to watching Duchess what that episode. We're watching together. I have to no, watch I things with the wife. It takes yeah, really. us Some 17... Of us We've been watching Love Hate, this Irish gangster show, for fucking 17 years. We can't watch it quick <laughs> enough. And then everybody around me is watching it, and I'm like, oh, we're on season four. I'm like, we're on episode one, 15 minutes in, okay? Like, we can't watch anything without a baby just shitting themselves all the time, okay? 
Uh, Darren Sim says, good luck trying to just watch one episode. So I'm no. guessing he means like, oh, you'll be watching more than one. I'm assuming yeah. that's what he's insinuating no. there. I could be wrong. No, um, Jeff Seems... Bezos comes around your house and like smacks you in. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Makes hey, you. watch more Fallout, goddammit. Yeah. So the other thing about Starfield is one of the best things about it, you know, the space combat's pretty good. Mm. You can blow up the enemy ships or you can disable their engines and then go on board and shoot everybody and then take their ship. Yes. Or no. skin them alive. Yeah, can you do that? Uh, no. What do you mean, no? You can get the ship. Mm -hmm. No! No, okay, go on. Well, you, not much you can get the ship. You can get the ship. Yeah. You get the ship. You could sell it for like 20,000 credits, right? Yeah, 20,000 credits. What now? But before you sell a ship, you have to register it for 18,000 credits. So you only fucking net 2,000 credits. Like, what the fuck is hey, this? Yeah. I assume they're like, well, we don't want to make it too easy for people to just get a lot of money in this game. And it's like, come on, y'all. God damn, that's ridiculous. It's, it's tough to so make money these just... days. It is. It is. Yeah, apparently, but you would think if I'm a really good space pirate dude who takes over other people's ships and sells them, that would be a way to make money. But nope, apparently nope. not. Apparently not. Oh, I like somebody online said there's this criminal, you know, gang called the Crimson Alliance. They should be able to buy ships without you having to register them. But nope. Yeah. Still can't do it that way. Yeah. So, yeah, because let's, let's, let's be honest, dodgy people will buy ships that aren't registered. Yeah, exactly. There like, should there be a should way be around it. There should, the, 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 I don't mind it being in there, but there should be some sort of. I don't know. There should, yeah, but there should be some sort of in-game like. Oh well, if you yeah, want to sell it, sell it on the dodge to me, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, you know? yeah, but even even Half if of what they will, but you don't have to register it. Even mm -hmm. if you have to do like what they could have done, you could uh, like do a bunch of missions for them, and then they'd buy ships off you. You know, once they trusted yeah, you or something. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I mean? what we're like basically building. saying is making games is a piece of piss. Yeah, they and just don't know what would, they're doing. We would make it better. Yeah. Yeah. That's all they need to do. So that's Starfield. It's fun. I'm having a good time with it, but there's some things they need to do cool. differently. Well, Ian is in the chat and he says, Evening. Evening, Ian. Evening. 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 In the middle of the show. Yeah. All right. So I'll, I'll go then. Shall yep. I? Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Go. You go. I'll go. Go. Hold it up, Shin. I? I've been playing more oh, of that um, yeah. Evil West game. All oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, I did look at that this week, but I've been away on holiday, so... Well, we can all time. look at things, Stu. I didn't have time. <laughs> you know I mean? didn't have frigging time. We can all look at things. Oh, I didn't have time, all right? <laughs> um, so, yeah, making my way through it, for people that don't remember, this is basically a God of War clone, but you're a vampire-hunting cowboy. Uh, you get a few more weapons. You, uh, Duke, you'll be pleased to know you get more guns. You get a hunting yeah. rifle. You get a flamethrower. Yeah. You get a crossbow. Mm -hmm. um, you also get some sort of sort of lightning stick thing, and you can just go whoosh, and everybody goes uh, electrifies, and you can zoom over to people and uh, you know elect electrocute them and zoom. You can you can electrocute them and pull them towards you. Um, you can do nice. all sorts of I'm just things. watching that on screen. It looks well cool because all the skeleton lights up inside. Yeah, shit. yeah. Um, that does look cool. Not got tons to say other than it's fine. You know, you know what? Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting off Alan Wake two to play this. I know that's um, quite, quite a thing. It's quite I'd a thing say. because Alan Wake two is fucking depressing, right? And I go <laughs> in there and it's just like. <sighs> it's dark. It's dark. And Wake. Dark. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. like. And I'm like, you know what? I just want to fucking punch some stuff, right? I just want to punch some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does feel like that they, they're getting a bit lazy with the cutscenes as the game goes on. Because right. you just rock up to a place and there's a voiceover going, we need to go here. <laughs> like, there you go. There are still cutscenes, but there's... There, there I, feel, I feel like they blew the budgies they on blew the, the budget. I mean, the, there are still some. There are still some. So I don't want to sound like I'm being really harsh. But, but sometimes you just turn up at a place and you're like, no context to why I'm here. And then it's like, we need the, 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 the MacGuffins. So da, da, da. Um... And then there's the main enemy in this game is a little girl. You might have seen her if you played the. I don't think I have. I don't well, think you, got you didn't play very far because of that I show didn't. Um, there's a little girl anyway, and she's sort of fucked up. And uh, she, um, 
I hate her voice. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking all. I hate the the voice. Like, just <laughs> terrible, terrible. Uh, whoever picked that. Um, but but there was a there was the last mission that I did. I'm about I'm over halfway in the game now, and the last mission that I did, because this is a game where you, it introduces you to a boss. Like 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 on the screen now, there's this enemy, and it's like a kind of like. It shoots webs at you and all that. So it's like an evil Spider-Man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you fight this thing and you go, fucking hell, that was a bit tricky. And then you, then the next level, you like, you fight Swing that. Your tail like your neighborhood Spider-Man. You fight that. And then you fight the other thing that you thought was a boss. And then the other thing that you thought was a boss. And Duke, if you thought those big things with the, 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 the blades were tough, f- fucking yes. absolutely. And then I got to a boss fight the last time I played this was a couple nights ago. And I went... I don't know if I can do this. Like, if I can really? physically do this. Wow. I was like, fucking hell, this is rock. Man, anyway, uh, um, I, I was. it was late. It was about one o'clock, half one. And I was like, one more go. I'll do it one more oh time. Oh, my God. And I don't, I don't, that's I don't, the bug. Yeah, the but bug, I, don't, I died about, you know, about six, seven times, right? Wow. And, like, this is like, on one of them, I got close as well. And I went, right, I'm just going to do it one more time. And I did it one more time, and I did it, right? And I know it's not a great game. I know it's not a great game. But it still gave me that, like, oh, yeah, I, fucking, I fucking did it. You know what I mean? I yeah, did yeah. it. Yeah. And, and, the, and I feel like game difficulty is is a tricky thing for a developer, isn't it? Because mm. you, 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 you want the game to be to be fair, do you know, right, it's, like so, you, if the game is fair and you're not, you're losing because you're just not getting it, or you don't know the pattern of the enemy, right. and da, 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 right. that almost you, know you can get it. Yeah, you almost, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I know this is what Elder Scrolls basically is, and and that that high of like defeating that, I mean, love Elden it. Ring. Elden Ring, Elden Scrolls. Oh yeah, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. <laughs> they're all the same. Elden Scrolls. You just click once, and whatever. Thing's yeah. dead. Elden Ring. Yeah, Elden I, Ring. I was wondering what he was talking right, about. Right. Yeah. Like, Elden Ring. Yeah. The thing um, you point at, whatever you want to die. Uh, so, I know, I know. Like, the, there's a, there's a a trigger in me that likes that, and I know, I'm yeah, aware of yeah. it. I'm aware of it. I'm aware. The reason probably why I haven't played Elden Ring is because I know. What, you what, what it's going to do you to me. In, wouldn't you? Yeah. So, um, so what, anyway, I, pl- I played this boss and it was just this big fucking, kind of like a scorpion weird thing. And it was fucking awful. And and, and I just hated it, and I, but I beat it. But then, you know, you got these other bosses that look at this big octopus thing that sticks on the side of a house. And you're like, was that a boss? And then you fight that. And then you fight two other things that were fucking rock. And you, all at the same time. And you're like, how am I supposed <laughs> to do this? Um, yeah, and and the, the whole game can be played co-op, but it's I'm just playing it on my own. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. I mean, it's a lot of the game formula is you go to a place, you do some jumps and stuff. If you see an open arena, you're like, let's fucking fight. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, you're gonna have a boss. Are you gonna um, you're gonna have a fight? Yeah. I mean, interestingly, I mean, I know you mentioned Elden Ring, and it is similar because there are mini bosses and proper bosses in Elden Ring. I think, so that, I, I mean, think you, I think comparing this to Elden Ring is, is a little bit of a yeah, stretch. Yeah, but... yeah, but you do, do you understand what I mean, though. There are, from what I can remember, there's about 114 bosses in mm. in Elden Ring, and about 12 main bosses or something like that. 13, 14. But, but main what bosses. I'm saying is, you you come across a, a thing like a like this werewolf thing here on the screen, and and, and all like this. This enemy with like spider things on it, and you think, oh, okay, oh, I'm glad I don't have to fight that. And then you turns out you got to fight fucking two of them in the next level, yeah, and the, the yeah. other thing that you thought was a fucking rock hard, and you're like, fuck me, um, yeah. And then there's these enemies that just basically run at you, and explode, nice. and they're mm. they're awful because not only is that terrible. But also they sh- they go ah, like that constantly. So as soon as I <laughs> as soon as I hear them, I'm like, oh fuck! And then you fight a boss fight, like a real big boss fight with massive fucking arms and stuff. 
And then it goes, well, I'm just going to throw those blokes that just run at you at the same time. I'm like, no, like, I can't do this. But it's bit... almost like when oh. they were developing it, it was just laughing at yeah. the players. You know like, what I mean? Like, no one's going to get this far <laughs> anyway. Oh, this is brilliant. Let's and the, do this. And the, and, the, and the story definitely feels like no one's going to get this far in this story because none yeah. of it's making any sense. I don't know what's going on. Um, but i've enjoyed it man i don't know well, what it is i, I like I, it I, I, yeah. yeah uh ian in the chat said it's it reminds him of dark siders and i can definitely see that yeah, you know, a little bit funny. yeah a little bit yeah um i don't know it's, it's, it's just sort of amazes me really that the, the, the i've never heard of this game and 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 it's so well, this is a great and... thing about game pass isn't it every yeah. now and again they'll put an older game on that you've never heard just, of and this it came out out two years ago completely missed yeah. me um thought it you know it's a big it's a big fat okay do you know what i mean it's a, it's a, it's yeah. it's, it's, a, it's just a good game it, and uh, uh, unfortunately a, a good game isn't enough to get noticed these days no, but it, this but, is the problem with so many games being released every year yeah yeah it's it's, it, it's i think tricky. anything you know 7 out of 10s and 3 out of 5s and those sorts of games it they, they ain't going to cut it they, 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 they cut don't it. cut it because the the standard is so high now um yeah. yeah and uh we move on and every all for some reason everybody just loves roguelikes at the moment every game is a fucking roguelike which i'm not mad about but um yeah I, it's, I i i just want to support and play a game that i'm like oh no this is this is kind of what i like so um yeah i'm into it evil evil west if you like god yeah. of war and you just want a bit of fucking no nonsense stuff then i'd recommend it excellent mm. Uh, well, shall I? Are we gonna do? Just hold up, hold up. Should we get another Duke out the way? And yeah, shall we get another uh, Duke? And then we'll another do Duke one out of the way because you know it's a long time for him not to talk, isn't it? So you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Go on, Duke. I don't like talking though. I'm I'm bad at talking. That's what I know about you. There's yeah. a game called Tinkerlands. Oh yeah. Uh, All right, this is okay. revolutionary. You ready? Okay, here we go. You ready? Here we go. Here you we handle go. this. Are you ready for? It? <laughs> I don't know. I don't no. know um so it's 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 like it's got crafting okay oh god <laughs> it's 2d uh i played the demo and i wrote meh okay oh. like that's it like i don't know what the hook is i don't know why it's supposed to be different it feels like if you had um so just a minute is this like i mean i can't see it on screen if only we could see what it looked like all right uh, be nice. Mr. Oh, does fuck nice. all but yeah, chat there nice. and talk bollocks <laughs> and then ignore everybody else nice. when they're talking. I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, is, it, is it just like a classic open world, chop down trees, make some wood? Pretty much. But it's I mean, I didn't play it for very house. long, but the but sense looks... I got was that it was like Starbound is the space one. What's the one that came before Starbound that's like 2D sideways? Terraria. 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 Thank Terraria. you. Yeah. It feels uh, like it's trying to be like okay. a 2D top down Terraria. It looks, it looks like uh, um, you know. Stardew a little bit, though, as well. Yeah. yeah it it's does. trying to be a little bit Stardew. It's, but it's like not got the charm of Stardew. So you're just on this island. There's a bunch of trees and pieces of wood. You chop up the pieces of wood. You make a table. You make a better axe. You chop down more, more trees. You go get stone. You just, ah, uh, like a game needs to just have a minute. more Is than that. Is a character that just walking across the sea? Swimming. Probably. It just looks like he's swimming. No, it just looks like he's walking. No, he's off and off. Well, it's 2D. They don't have a whole lot of options for how to d depict the swimming. So. Must be very shallow. I don't know. Must be shallow water. Yeah, it's shallow. Yeah. So, like, I serious, I played this for maybe fifteen minutes, and I was just like, "Meh, I'm done. Tinker I don't, lands. I don't want to spend time getting into this." If I, I wasn't convinced I was gonna keep going, and and it just wasn't fun. I mean, it wasn't unfun. I mean, it's as fun as any other survival game. But <laughs> it wasn't there's unfun, there's like twenty unfun. options. There's twenty options for how you could get your crafting fix, and Enshrouded is the best one right now. So I was like, I'm just gonna go play more Enshrouded, and I did. Because that's a fun game. That's what you yeah, can do. I, I, I'll be honest. It's just looks like so many other games. There's so many yep. clones of clones of. And clones. I think the thing is that like you get, you know, you build a little house for the one dude, and then you get, you know, he gives you crystals, and you use the crystals to build a house that attracts the other dude, and then, you know, you get a little village going, and okay, I guess. Uh, I, I just don't uh, see the point. Anymore. If I got this game for free, I might play it, but I'm not gonna play the prologue. For a game you'd have to pay 20 bucks for and they're like i'm not gonna go do that so yeah don't blame thing. you Tinkerlands. i really don't blame yeah. you 
All right, let's uh, let's All do. All right, it's plan. time for that. I got a jingle. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. I hate I like that. it. Uh, <laughs> should have made that noise then. I, I like it. it. I hated all of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> right, play my oh, game. Welcome, bitch. listeners. This is where we no, play. No, does it hold no, up? Jesus it Christ. Christ. No. Do you not tell from the jingle? Play the jingle. Fuck it out. Should I play the jingle again? Play the jingle again. He obviously didn't get it. <laughs> there you go. How could you not get that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I should have got it. Anyway, does it hold up? Does it yeah, hold does up? It hold up Uncharted so... 3. We're playing from Great chapter deception. chapter 10 to chapter, chapter 15. We are. A lot of boat stuff. Yeah, it starts in Yemen, though, doesn't it? Yemen. Yemen. Yeah. Yemen. Again, in Yemen, Yemen, everybody's still bloody bald. There they are. Why is there everybody bald in this game, Stu? I don't know. They're we've either got, bald or wearing sunglasses in a we've suit. Got, we got like Jason Statham, but in, Jason Statham. in Yemen we got the Arab Jason Statham. We're just like they're just bald. We Everybody's are. bald. Um, uh, can I just say though, Yemen as a city, you know, as a place, a place looks great. Looks good. Yeah, loads of attention. I love the fact there's like what looks like dodgy wiring on all the walls. You know, like the lights are just wired up with yeah. a bit of old wire. And there's like weird junction boxes and just like attention to detail. Yeah, and de and and places where you you you're in and out very quickly as well. And there's yeah, still a lot yeah, of and there's so detail. much detail. Like that in burger chain, um, McDonald's. Yeah, I yeah. Know what you're saying. I don't know. I yeah. Don't know what it was. There's a burger chain called In and Out. So when you made the In and Out comment, I, I get you. I see. Not joke type joke. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, and, yeah, and, but you, I love the fact when you very first arrive, you go through a market and it's like no weapons. No weapons. I'm like, is that real? Yeah. If you really went to a market in Yemen, would there be a sign that said no weapons? I don't know. Well, there's not a sign in Wolverhampton oh, that says Yemen. listeners. Are we any listeners in Yemen? Let's go. There's, there's not a sign in Wolverhampton that says no weapons. It's just sort of assumed, really, Stu. You Maybe. know what I mean? Um. So yeah, the, you you sort of. You did a lot of combat. You have to find a, another thing, though. You've got to find, yeah, find another. Was it a thing. well? Isn't it? You find a well. Well, you stumble on it. You're in a chase scene, yeah. and then suddenly you're in it. You're in it, which is that easy because you know you just, just you know this. You hide well. and you're in a well. Yeah. Uh, I have got an issue with the very first part of the well. Can I just say? Is it the torches? No. Well, that's part of it. Like, who the fuck's lit all that shit? They're all lit up. They're all lit up. Who's, who's the, a well that's been abandoned for thousands of years, like yeah. an under, secret underground thing, Yeah, is all fully lit with fire. And it's like, does that yeah. shit never burn out? What the hell's going well, it on is, here? They prepared it for you before you got there, Stu. Yeah. But prior to that, right, this is the first issue I had with it. You yeah. climb down a ladder, drop about 10 feet to the bottom. Yeah. How are you getting out? I mean, that's like, you have no idea whether there's an exit, but you do it anyway. Oh, Stu, Nathan Drake doesn't worry but about also, that shit, man. On the way out, turns out the ladder can be dropped to the bottom. Why the fuck did nobody do that on the yeah, way down? Yeah, I did think what, that, to be fair. What the, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Because I'm like, how are we getting out of here? So you get a leg up and then he's like, oh, I could drop the ladder down. Like, they, they literally climbed down a ladder that could extend. And they went, none of them went, should we just extend no, that No, they risked breaking the legs yeah. or having a dodgy yeah. fall or yeah. getting trapped down there forever. Yeah. And yet they, they could just to drop the ladder. I'm like, what? Yeah, I did think that. I did think that. But um, makes you know. no but sense. Nathan, I mean, Nathan doesn't waste his time thinking about how he's going to get guess. out of scrapes. He gets no, in them. Let's, let's get out. I mean, if they didn't figure out this puzzle, they'd have been stuck in that room forever. You know, <laughs> but 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 that's Nathan's job, isn't it, to figure shit out? You know, he, he just he just knows he's going to figure that shit out because he's Nathan Dre. He's clever and shit. He knows. He is clever and shit. Um, clever. <laughs> yeah. So that you, you go through a well. I, I I didn't make many notes for this one. I suppose. The, the I did make the note of like the that there's a moment between um uh Nathan and uh what's her name? Elena. Elena where, yeah. where like he he gets back to her and he, he, he he's like um he's like, We gotta go now, we gotta go now and she says like rest, like you've gotta rest. Oh, this uh, is that's at the end of the whole of the thing, isn't it? That's right at the end. Is it? 
Yeah, that's the last, literally the last scene before chapter 16 or whatever it is. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's a long oh, way maybe, Oh, here. maybe. But I, I wrote this thing where it's like the, Nathan and Elena have got such like good chemistry. And it's so rare to see characters have characters have chemistry in a video oh, game. Oh, yeah. And she's still wearing a re- wedding ring even but though. But like, like, the way like, anymore, there's, so. there's a lot of heart between them. And it's so yeah, definitely. so difficult to do that in a video game. She it's, still likes him even though he's a twat. And but like, all that, like, to have that sophistication of like of characters in a game is just rare these days it's rare now in 2024 oh definitely. So, but, like great voice acting like these two is is few and far. well so like horrible. all of the characters in this game to be fair they all mm. i like sully her drake yeah. yeah you know even chloe even like chloe and cutter and stuff you know all the other characters it's, it's the enemies that are usually a bit crap in these games yeah so there's, there's a few sort of puzzles when you go into the world you gotta put the cogs in the right place and all yeah. that sort of stuff one thing that i did like was the there's a room where you've got to line up the shadows remember that one yeah, yeah i, I yeah. love that puzzle i thought that was great yeah. um Really good stuff. Really good stuff. So you're gonna line the shot, and then you get basically you get a star map to lead you to the next location. So that's what comes of this area. And Sully has it in his head because he can't trust writing it down. Because let's be honest, Nathan Drake's not good at hanging on to shit like that from the enemies. Is he? No. <laughs> it's no. just like Awful. I think Sully had the right idea. Yeah, let's not write it down this time because you're shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stopping people getting hold of it after we've done stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. No, I, I like to, I like because you got two puzzles to do, and you got the cog one. Yeah. And I really like the fact that in the cog one, when you climb across this beam, you spot this like. Oh, what the hell was that? Sorry, the wind came through. We got wind up, but I got I didn't have stuff secured down, oh, so okay. I'm gonna have to go deal with All this right. wind. Uh, now. Just what checking the there wasn't one. like a raccoon in his basement. Yeah, yeah, it's a um, raccoon in my basement. Um, uh, I did like, no, the, like the, 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 the puzzle as well. I kind of like that. The the bit where you, you yeah, you 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 crawl you climb you climb across and then like this like animation, like plays out and you can see which cogs are moving. I thought that was really clever. And yeah. then um, yeah, then this whole shadow stuff I thought was was brilliant. I just thought it was really good. Um, yeah. More spider stuff. Didn't like the spider stuff, but no, still the same. It's just like wave a thing and yeah. keep pressing it. Keep Is that, pressing and I didn't like the fact it's like these spiders are more aggressive. I'm like, well, <laughs> why? Yeah, they are. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, and there's a bit where you got to like shoot the spiders. Like, yeah, before... yeah, which was just weird shooting it's... them with a shotgun. Shooting spiders with a shotgun is a right fucking task, isn't it? Jesus yeah, Christ! Yeah, it's just a weird choice of yeah. let's how we do this. Yeah. And let's be honest, why the hell did the torch go out? They've been lit for a thousand years. I was yeah. like, what's happening yeah. here? <laughs> yeah, they it's been just lit for a th- they... just just run out of fuel it's, now. It's been a let... <laughs> They've just run out. I'm really sorry. We've just run out. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. A thousand and... years. <laughs> and there's more. There's more of the theme going on in this chapter I, I i think elena touches on it again where she goes why are you doing this drake like what the fuck are you yeah, doing yeah 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 what are you doing it for is it for yeah. the treasure is it just for doing it say but this is another episode of drake goes into a place gets a thing and yeah. the people turn up because that's exactly yeah, what yeah 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 yeah. they get to the end they stumbled on it by pure chance yeah right? so it's not like they knew where they were going yeah and they have prior knowledge and then suddenly all these guys are dropping in with tear gas the full monty like. a lot yeah 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 oh well never just mind like weird i'll tell you what they just love following him around uh <laughs> they do, they do. They, wherever he goes they know where he is mm. at all times yeah. Uh, so you get you finally get out of here, and then they descend one of those weird hallucination darts into Drake, don't they? Yeah, yeah. So they do that, and I, I kind of like this section. I must admit, although it was a bit weird, it's like, because are you really stumbling through the city? Because oh, okay, yeah, yeah. When you sort of drugged up, yeah. in your ear, and he's like, well, and it was quite it, well done. He's so good at firing those darts. I don't know why he just doesn't kill. Know. He just just should kill him. Just he? just. Like that, just where was he? Yeah, just he should become a sniper. That guy, I don't know yeah, why he's put some, put some proper poison in it. You yeah, know just what I mean? Him, just get rid of him. People will just think he's collapsed. It's not like you're gonna yeah. know that you've killed him in a public place. Um, we learn a little bit about Drake in this scene after he's drugged, uh, yeah. Uh, and we learn that his mother committed suicide, yeah, and we learn that his father turned him in for adoption. He's sort of 
the story. Oh, yeah, it was. A, it were. It wasn't a very nice mum. Yeah, and his his father wasn't, wasn't a very there, nice so. mum, which uh, kind of explains a lot. To be fair, because uh, Millie was telling us this the other day from a psychology standpoint, uh, people who've come from a broken home or where there's been a traumatic incident or you know like shit went down are something like seventy percent more likely to commit crime. So there you uh, go. Well, yeah, he's, so there he's you a go. pretty big criminal, isn't he? You know? Well, he's a criminal and the mass murderers. So oh, yeah. we've got all those bases. No, we don't. We don't count the murders. They're fine. Yeah. Um, they're all they're all Nazis, Stu. Yeah. All the people yeah, that that's true. That there, is true. there is a section in uh, this chapter that I think we're on sort of chapter eleven where, for a change, you're chasing someone else rather than someone yeah, chasing it's a bit, you. Can I just say though, this whole thing was a bit weird. So you sat with Helen Mirren, yeah, right, and the, the Ramsey guy who's yeah. a pirate, Ramsey the pirate, yeah, and Tolbert, and then they say something about we've located, like we don't need you anymore because we've located Sully. Yeah. And he's at the other side of the city. But rather than get a taxi to go to him, he decides to run all the way across the city with you chasing him. It's such a weird scenario. It's like, what? I what? didn't I don't know. I didn't get the impression he was running over to, to the other side to see Sully. He was just running away from you because you you'd kicked off. I don't know. I don't know what I didn't know what to think really. I'm like, is he running to, was he just on his way to get silly and then you just suddenly started chasing him no because or... you you interrupt the, the 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 meeting don't you like they're they're gonna take you away and you're like fucking fuck this and he's trying to run yeah, away yeah you do you, you crash the table but i loved i loved this chase i thought this yeah chase no was... i liked it it goes on a long time it's a well, long it's chase a, yeah it's and massive I, it's crazy and it, it's um Another example of everybody can do what Nathan Drake does in this game, <laughs> which is oh yeah, no, uh, possibly better because he is always one step ahead for most yeah. of his chases. Yeah, but it's a great it? chase. I thought it's and it's quite nice to to be chasing someone else rather than being chased because you're always being chased in in a, a, an uncharted game. So yeah, no, and it's it's got quite a lot of cool little like actiony bits as he going oh, yeah. like the bit where he falls off the drain pipe. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. So there is like stuff that happens. And good falls cool. as well. Like they're not pretty falls, are they? They're always like no. They're really no, like no. ugly falls, which I really like. Um, yeah. And, and, and then like, how does he get caught at the end of this? I can't remember. What uh, happens I, I think he's the the guy sort of because um, you have a scrap though. You have a big fight yeah, but he, he he basically like knocks you out and stuff. Yeah. So it's like yeah, it's uh, it's there you go. It sort of knocks you out and puts you underwater, and then someone. Yeah, that's it. It's not, it's not great, but then the next chapter, chapter twelve, is where boat. you're you're on about the the start of the boat stuff. A lot of boat stuff in this one, Stu. A oh, lot of boat, the boat stuff. stuff. You, the cause boat you, you're stuff. caught by the pirate. You're tied up, but in true Nathan Drake style, obviously he gets out. Um, yeah, again, again, right. So he's got you there, in presumably the middle of nowhere. Can do what the hell he wants to. Yeah. Yeah. But still decides that he's, well, as we later find out, pretending to go and torture Sully for a bit and then he's going to come back. Yeah. And the chair's made of balsa wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't really have Sully at all. Um, no. And this is like, like, this isn't just like a boat sailing out somewhere. This is like a boat, like it's graveyard, isn't it? It's in the middle it? of nowhere. Yeah, I yeah. mean, this is like, this is time to kill Nathan Drake, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Be <laughs> like, he's going to get the sack this guy Let's well just dispatch we, him. <laughs> we know we know what happens to the guy anyway but yeah he's um so you, you sort of like a boat graveyard and then you sort of go through and everything um, i hated the first part of this kind of oh really say. yeah the, the like first sneaking people, around uh, oh hated it yeah well, you, you're not forced times... to sneak around though are you? You no but just... the minute you break cover you get shot by about 17 different people at once oh, right. Right? i didn't mind this as much no i hated it oh. um and it's, it's one of those infinite respawn things until you hit a certain point in the level. Oh, really? Well, I did yeah. a, I did a pretty good job of sneaking through well, this stuff. Well, get you. I, I need to oh. suck less, as I said well, last week. I, I am a better gamer than you, though. You are a better gamer. You, know? you are a better gamer. Yeah. No, I, uh, I, I, was quite, I was quite shocked at how well i snuck through it to be fair because it seemed pretty yeah. pretty dense and but i'd I managed to sort of sneak which is a bit we're seeing now on the screen this yeah. little bit yeah i kind of got the guy hang of it and then there's a guy on a bloody turret at the top and the amount of times i was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and i got shot dead and i'm like for fuck's sake yeah 
No, uh, I did get through it eventually. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it probably probably about four or five goes though to get through it, and that, yeah. that was. I thought strange. it was tough to sort of know where you were going. Like, yeah, just... there was a because you gotta you gotta hit these little points in the level to progress it. Yeah, it's I, just a bit weird. I um, I I was like, because I everybody was dead in my my game and i was like i don't know where to go like there was a bit where I, and you oh to... yeah at the very end of it yeah 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 once everyone's gone yeah. and then when you finally figure it out because i was like what the hell and i'm looking around and i'm at the other side of the level i'm like i can't see yeah and then i spotted the like the mast on the boat with yeah. ladder on it and i'm like oh that's where I'm... yeah and it's I remember, really hard to find yeah i remember doing this in the first time i played it and then literally the minute you walk halfway up the ladder, you're getting shot at again. I'm like, what the what? What's going on? <laughs> no, not me. I didn't get shot at, no. Yeah, no. you do. As soon as you walk up the ladder, a lot of guys appear on uh, the top of it. Oh, right. Like on, on the other side of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then you've got to get down again. Then you've got to deal with all of them, which wasn't that difficult. They you've got to get down crazy. again. Well, I did. I just sort of got down and sort of shot them all. Because there's a guy, there's two guys shooting rockets and stuff at you from the sides. As soon as you go up the ladder, not for me, they, they appear. Oh well, they did for me. No, oh. not for me. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, um, if you rewind the video a little bit, you'll probably see it happen. I don't well, know. I can't be off now. I'm past it now. Okay. Um, yeah, but it's so it's, you didn't like the section then, Stu? You didn't like it? I didn't mind it after I got past that initial bit. Mm. I hated that little bit. It's only that little bit I don't like. I mean, the rest of it is fairly cool. Yeah. And I love the bit where you're on the side of the the ship and it zooms out. It zooms out. There's a lot to of show you the scale. A lot of vertical shooting as well on this level, wasn't there? Like, there's like yeah, again, there's that shooting like up that at people stuff. in the face. I like that stuff. Kind of I like that. Yeah, stuff. it's fine. Yeah, I like it. Was it was absolutely fine. And the chapters come thick and fast at this section of the game, don't they? Yeah, they do. Um, because the, the chapter thirteen is basically you sort of jumping from one boat to the other. It's like a sort of a boat chase, really. Um, yeah, there's not much to for like to go on on that so one. So then you get you get to the end of it, and you can see Ramsey's ship in the heart. And I love I love the fact he's stolen a whole cruise liner. It's like where the fuck yeah, did he get like... that from? Yeah, yeah. He's got a swimming pool and everything. I mean, this thing is like amazing mm. like massive cruise liner i mean most pirates just have a boat line. just some sort of little boat i mean this guy's got the full thing going um so, <laughs> so then you get to his boat so you have to have this big shootout and you eventually sneak onto a, a boat though you get on there to get across to him yeah to rescue what you think is sully yeah. And so you get to the boat, and not all happens on the boat until you get to where you think Sully is, does it? Because it's all kind of sneaking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just get into the, like, the, the, it's not a basement. What do you call it? I don't yeah, know. Like a, the, like a hole. The hole. Know, the hole. The hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hole. The hole of the ship. Yeah. And then this, this makes no sense, right? Because you get, <laughs> so you get in the hole, and there's what appears to be Sully sat in a chair, right? Can we just mention that the chances of you making it to this ship were fairly slim because you were held by torturers. <laughs> yeah. You you had to That's... fight a shit ton of guys. There was probably not much chance you were going to get to the ship on a boat because yeah. it all set off. But you managed, but against all odds, you managed to get there. Yeah. And Ramsey, just on the off chance that might have happened, yeah. has set up a fake Sully. That was his plan. Sat in a chair. I was, yeah. I was like, and also, there's a bit prior to this section where the boat is rocking like fucking crazy from side to side. Yeah. And stuff is slide like whole containers are sliding backwards and forwards, are they? It's rocking that much. Yet Sully, you pull his like the fake head off instantly, yet he stayed on there. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, what is going on? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit strange because, yeah, look. Like, the plan is to to lure you to a weird room in a, on a different boat, but then you've got like five hundred. So you 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 basically sacrificed all those people. Uh, yeah. Slaughter. But I, what I will say is that when when you discover that Sully isn't uh, Sully and it's just a like a fake thing, 
the room that happens in when it floods that's oh impressive. yeah it's amazing that's Absolute, impressive the, the, from this point onwards it is amazing yeah. i mean this is what well, again what an amazing set piece in the game i have never to this day i've never seen anything as cool as like, like it's one of the coolest things i've seen oh and, yeah it's, and it's, it's like brilliant. basically what what happens in, for, for people that haven't played it or can't remember you 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 get ambushed obviously and says oh Sully's I don't really have Sully he's, he's somewhere else Fuck and you, you. shoot Ramsey because he's such a dick he's like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then and then you the I don't know what happens something something explodes and water's coming in right you're on like the main hold of a boat so like yeah. deep under it and then water's pissing in from the side and the boat yeah. starts capsizing and really what you don't know is that because I'm like where do I go what do I do. And what you don't actually know is that you you when once the water gets to a certain level, the whole boat tips. Tips, and you go in the water. And it go, and and, and, and I don't know. We've we've played. There's been video games where you, you I don't know you're in a place and it's upside down and all that sort of stuff. But to see it tip live and yeah. uh, it's just so cool. It's um, very very. I mean, the bit after that is so reminiscent of the climbing up the train in in two. It's it's quite unbelievable. It's so reminiscent yeah, of climbing really up all the cool. doors and yeah. stuff. I really like this. I, I just thought really, this was it's just a great section. Just of the a game. clever clever thing, man. I just thought it was so well done. Um, and and something as I was playing it, I I remembered it. You know what I mean? Like if you'd have yeah, asked me yeah. before this playthrough of Uncharted, I was like, no, I'd have never named this boat stuff. But it's some of the yeah. biggest thing that happens in the game, yeah. uh, and, oh, and again, cool. another another like reason why Uncharted Three is so underrated. Do you know what I mean? It's so underrated and it's so good. I think the problem was Uncharted Two was so revered, and everyone remembers Uncharted Two. Yeah, everyone kind of forgets that Uncharted Three was was pretty good as well. Yeah, I mean, it crazy. was it was pretty impressive. Yeah, 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 crazy. Uh, and then, but you 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 you're going through the bow. It's all on its side. It's flooding. Yeah. It's chaos, um, and it's just... and, and like it is kind of two steps forward, three steps back in it. Every yeah. time you think you're making progress, you end yeah. up bloody in another yeah. bit of the, the the level. And it's so well again, so well made how it looks. And then you end up in the the chandelier room, which is like a room yeah. that you've already been in, and but obviously on its, side. On, its side. on its side, and that's where you come across the pirate, and he goes, he's injured, he's like. Well, he's gonna die, this. so yeah. he's like, "Fuck it!" And he shoots this huge and then, glass again, can glass we window. just say how amazing the sea outside the window looks oh, before it's just he brilliant. It. It's so good. Oh, it's so, so good. good. Yeah. And he goes, "Time to get out of this aquarium or something like that." He says, "I like that's just yeah. brilliant." So what a so what a well done. what a line. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's it's just I, I honestly I just completely forgot about this this whole sequence. And it's some of the best uh, video gaming uh, you can get, really. It's just top draw. Um, and, yeah, it, it, it sort of ends with Nathan eventually sort of just washing up somewhere. And Yeah, uh, he's, he's on a little bit of wood. Yeah, a little bit of wood. A little bit of wood. It's like Titanic. Yeah, it's <laughs> like... Wasn't there definitely isn't enough room for two what people. I like, on that I like, what I like is that the wood made it back with him on the beach. Do you know it what I mean? Like, it like, did. It did. What I want is that Unbelievable. He, he gets into a relationship. He dumps Elena and he gets into a relationship with that I'm, plank of wood. i just got to say this, right? And I know, I know there's a bit of suspension of disbelief and stuff, but the chances of the, the tides or the, you know, yeah, and the yeah. channels yeah. and all that stuff. Land him on the beach. Put him on the beach. Neck, where he laid. <laughs> it's, it's so remote. Yeah. It's so remote. I, I mean, more than likely, he would have just died. But he says, no, he says the line, like, how convenient, doesn't he? He says yeah. it. Like, he says, oh, this yes. is convenient. So, yeah. Yeah, it's like, what? Just, yeah. And even that he knows where she is, because it's yeah. like, has he ended up exactly like yeah. back in Yemen? I don't know. No, I don't it doesn't know. look like Yemen. Yeah. But it's just so funny. And don't, I don't know why, but Nathan does not want to sleep. Like, surely that man must be tired. And he's like, we've yeah, got to go I now. Yeah, this guy never sleeps. He yeah. never sleeps. Yeah. No, I thought it was a great section. Uh, so, I, I thought it was a great section. And then uh, you get to be, and she and she does go like, you're too tired. We can't go now. And he's like, I've got to save Sully. And she's like, yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. Uh, and he's been kidnapped. He's been taken. And he's on a, he's in some convo, right? And this made me laugh as well. Because I watched it, obviously, until the, the sort of chapter 16 things comes up. I played yeah. it up until that point, and it, it's just before you set off because she says <laughs> they're going to airdrop supplies, so we've got to get on the plane. 
Yeah. Right. And this is what I wrote, but like, what the fuck? Surely they could have just taken enough in a Land Rover with them, you know? Yeah. You know, like a truck. Just take a truck with the convoy with all the supplies you need. Yeah. You're not you're not going like to space. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we need an airdrop. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, what? Yeah. There's They're a little yeah. yeah, there's a little bit Supplies? of that. Yeah. What? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're on chapter sixteen. Um, we are. We are. I don't know. we might be able to finish it, you know. Maybe. I don't know how many chapters are on, but it's twenty two. Right, okay. I'll see what I can do, but it made me laugh. I've got to say, I think out of all of these games so far, this is the one where I've had to suspend my disbelief the a most. Lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of to, going to into a place, work. going into a place that no one has been for thousands of years, and then everybody discovers it when you're coming out. And yeah. there's a lot of like, well, well that's convenient. And there's a lot, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of weird stuff going on. I think the other ones, again, there was stuff like that, but I think this is the the one that has it the yeah. most. I do feel the storytelling is probably not as strong in this as, as the first two. Although the first one was a bit. Second one, they nailed it. They nailed it. Nailed. And there was another, by the way, did you did you get the, the Marco Polo yes. thing again? Yeah, the trophy. I got the tro- There's a trophy yeah, for that. So yeah, yeah, I got on, that. The, on the cruise liner, if you go yeah. for a swim in the pool on the cruise liner. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got like, that. But, then, but, no, there's, but there's no one to play it with this time. No! Yeah. No. Yeah, I got that. So, yeah. so that was kind of cool. I like cool. that. Cool. All right, well, we'll try... It oh, is great, by the way. I know I'm, I'm love picking it. up on all this crazy, stupid stuff, but it is yeah. still a, a really good game. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we should try and try and get it done. I'll see what I can do. I'll let you know if I do it. Try and get it done. I'll I'll try my best. Yep. I'll try my best. Yep. But, oh, I did laugh a lot. Cool. All right, that's us. That's uh, it. So the, shall I talk about the final thing I've played? Or Go for it. Shall I, oh. No, do you know what? I might save it till next week. Save it. I might save it till next week. You could say oh, I'm, I'm dredging it. I'm dredging it. Only reason being, and I'll be totally honest with you, we've got a three-part quiz off Derek. So, Jesus Christ. And we've got a few questions on the Discord, so I know Jesus there's quite Christ. a lot of this stuff. Let's and go. we've got two, e- two emails as well. Two Jesus emails. Christ. So what do we want to do first? The emails, the speak pipe quiz. We've got another speak pipe as well. We've got two speak pipes, including let's get the some, quiz. Let's get uh, some... Uh, emails, emails, let's get some emails. emails. Let's do that then. Oh, emails. Whoa, that ruled. Uh, well, the first email this evening is off our friend of the show, Armar, and he says, Hello. 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 He says, Hello, hello veterans. Ah, hello. Okay, Daddy. Hello. Uh, he says, hello, veterans. No gaming question for me this week. Just wanted to ask about Stu's dick. Uh, it's that time of year <laughs> again where you need to get on your knees, use some oil, and get that dick nice and wet with a bit of <laughs> And the problem is, I'll be honest, I haven't done it yet because it's, it's, the fucking weather's been shocking. So to do it, I need a good week of sunshine, you know, where you can get it, like, pressure washed, scrubbed, Get yeah. all the green shit off it. Get mm. it all oiled. Got to dry. You've got to have two to three coats of oil on it. And it's a big process, and it takes two or three days of sunshine. And we just haven't had it. It's just been no. raining all the time. It's like, it's awful. The weather has been shocking. So yep. it's got to wait till I get a few days off work, and it's sunny at the same time, and then I can get it done. Mm. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, and he says, remember, a little oil goes a long way and you don't want a messy dick after, <laughs> after as it's a pain to clear up. Armour. Uh, he says, P.S. Thanks, thank- Armour. <laughs> <laughs> P.S. Thank you, Duke, for the guidance on Fallout games. Noise. Yeah. So there you go. You're welcome. Noise. Noise. Toy. Noise. Uh, the next email this evening is from Jason. <laughs> uh, of course it is. He says, I don't want to set the world on fire. Uh, but I wish I had a vault, because then i get up in it. Hey, veterans, yeah, please stand by. Yeah, I actually understand this one for once. Kind of uh, according to Galaxy News, things aren't looking so good. End of times. Fortunately, electric mail still works, because I need to warn Chinny. Please, sir, be sure to treat your property for insects. I had bought a new build home when my daughter was born. 
That new neighborhood had disturbed the home of thousands of scorpions. Fucking hell. Uh, these buggers were as big as the ones in Fallout. I was in the kitchen brewing coffee and I felt one crawling up the leg of my uh, inside my pajamas. Oh my God, can you oh, imagine? Jesus. I'll be like, Jesus Christ. Uh, I screamed like a baby. <laughs> I bet he did. Yes. I think I would have done. I uh, once saw one drop from my ceiling fan. It was an invasion. When my actual baby turned three, we were in the kitchen and she walked in into me and her mum my tiny little girl was giggling and holding something to show us a gigantic live scorpion. Jesus we God. were so lucky we safely got her to drop it. Holy crap. Mm. Can you imagine if your kid came in with a scorpion? Hey, Lord, I found. No, I would not have a kid after that. I mean, Jesus Christ. My mum was like bad enough when one year when I was a kid, we found a load of frog spawn mm. in a pond near where we lived. And we used to have this old bath in the yard, like behind our house. And I put it in there, and there were thousands of tiny baby frogs everywhere for yeah. about a week. Um, when we, so, when yeah. we went to East Timor, we had to check under our bed uh, because there would be scorpions there sometimes. So that was oh, not always yeah. a pleasant evening ritual, but you know, it was only for. Anyway, he says. Declare war on bugs, Mike. Kids don't know any better. A war. Yeah, hell divers war. too, baby never changes um yeah mm. i mean that's just crazy i mean luckily in the uk we don't have scorpions natively so we should be fine i mean the the worst thing you're gonna get yeah probably a woodlouse <laughs> you know what i mean something like that snail slug one of those things maybe a butterfly spiders obviously spiders i guess but none of them are even poisonous or anything so Thankfully, we live in a country that doesn't have lots of poisonous insects, so all's good. Wow. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's it for email. So thank you very much to Jason and Amar. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, uh, Amar. So what do you want to do next? Discord questions? Or... Yeah. No, Discord questions. Yeah, let's yeah, do Discord you do that then. Discord. Hello. Uh, so my tag team, Brian, says... Uh, so you all play a lot of games slash demos. Do you keep a record of them and how? I have been using Notion since 2017. Yeah, you it, do it all, don't you? But it became slow and unwielding, although recent updates have improved it slightly. I know there are websites to do this, but most require some sort of payment and things are tight at the moment. So, hmm, maybe Excel? What do you reckon? Sorry, um, meand meandering, well, meandering through, meandered through that question, struggling to get sleep and mind's going chaotic at the moment. Well, uh, my tasty brain, I use Notion as well. Uh, you're welcome to look at what I do. I can share it with you. Um, so on my Notion is every game that I've played since 2019. Uh, um, the time I played it, what time I finished it. I've also got my backlog, what order I'm going to play my backlog in. Uh, what platforms they are on, what review score I give them, all the notes that I say on the show are written on each card of my game. Um, so it's all very organized. So, so for example, when I play Uncharted, I go on the, I click on Uncharted, and then I've just got a bunch of bullet points so I can scroll back and and see. So if I, if I go on games of 2023, I can see every game that I've played in 2023. And then if I go on arcade paradise i can see what i said on the show about arcade paradise which was started really slow that was my first note on arcade <laughs> paradise so yeah I, I, I keep a record of it um even the play my game bitches that i play uh, i keep a record of as well so that's what i use so i don't yeah. yeah it is a bit slow it does get a bit slow especially when you get a lot of information uh that's what i also do to track the podcast so what every game we've played on the podcast i've got a record of um and when Duke said when I wasn't on the show, sorry, when Stu said when I wasn't on the show, I wonder how many times Chinny hasn't been on. I bet it's less than me. I bet it's more than me. Um, you would be right. You would be correct. I can track yeah. that. It's from Only from 2019, though, not the whole thing. 
Um, but yeah, you'd be right. I definitely have been the one that has scarfed the mast. So yeah, yes, you yeah. have. <laughs> so I, I don't need it. I don't need a spreadsheet to know that. Yeah, there's a, there's three versions of Trello that you could use. Um, but really, I think Notion is 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 the best yeah, one. Yeah, you it can is. use a spreadsheet to be fair. That that would yeah. work. You'd have to, but you'd have to set it all up. Yeah, Jamie, at, Jamie at work uses a spreadsheet for the same thing and he's really really good at making spreadsheets he really yeah. he's really good at making pretty spreadsheets you know the ones that just yeah. look nice yeah drop down menus and yeah yeah he's colored really, squares yeah, he's and really all good that at that stuff. stuff so yeah i can ask him to to share me his spreadsheet and maybe send it to you if you want but there you go there you are so thank you my tatty brain and then orx uh wax uh, says i just purchased cyberpunk and wondering if it's worth my time have any of you played it sorry if i missed it in a podcast also yeah, wow also <laughs> i assume also, this is a joke also looking at firewatch i don't think it is on the switch as i love a little lunchtime gaming session can any of you recommend this there is a bit more but we'll answer that first you would recommend it to you obviously you'd recommend the dlc and the phantom liberty dlc yeah, is yeah, amazing yeah. which I, I, was incidentally my number two game of the year yeah we know year. that we all heard it right so the but firewatch firewatch was I okay it was a joke because everyone knows firewatch no. was all right it, it wasn't as good as it should have been the ending was kind of mediocre no the, the, uh, the journey like it, it cool, wanted though. to be the deeper journey's... than it was yeah I agree. Um, yeah, totally. so, but, but for a little lunchtime gaming session, uh, you know, Firewatch wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah, it's fine. It's great voice acting, by the way. There's better games on the Switch, by the way, but never mind. So, uh, <clears throat> Pikmin. Uh, anyway, um, he goes on to say, Orx says, Chitty, more about your little baba, please. Uh, uh, Duke, not enough sound bites. Don't shorten them for Stuart. He's actually shortened them for me. Cause I was yeah, it's wanting... not for me. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, it's actually me. Um, Guard your ears! Stu, I feel like I have not heard about your Steam Deck lately. Perhaps it's just me, though. All seriousness, all three of you continue to be gr- a great listen. Much love. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, Bab- no, I'll tell you, just for the Steam Deck, by the way, I, I play constantly on it, but I don't really mention it as it like on its own because it's kind of my main games console to be fair yeah. I think I and things don't run that, that well anything. on there do they well they run fine for me <laughs> well, yeah but like old games do if you spend 20 minutes no, like, you get, shut up. To work yeah. stop being a twat games where like there's there's some hentai big boobied woman <laughs> talking I'm sorry, to right. there's Fucking nothing the... sexual about it Jenny. Elden Ring runs fine. Literally all most modern games run Elden fine. Elden Ring me. is bloody two years old at this point. So you can fucking stick it up your ass with your Campbell. That's all, right. all I'm saying. Did you finish it? I, you know what? I was I was mowing the lawn today and I thought of you, Stu. I thought oh, of you. Because I was listening to another podcast that was talking about their Steam Deck. And I was like, did Stu finish Miles Moranis? Mar- yeah, of course I did. Yeah, I talked did. about that. Because yeah, they were talking it. about mapping the buttons. Yeah. Uh, oh. but, and all that. So, but it wasn't Miles Moranis. It was a different game. And it's like, oh, you've got to remember it and all this sort of stuff. And I was yeah. like, well, did you finish, Miles? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Once I got my head around, it, it just clicked. Yeah. Once you, you know what I mean? I played and played, and then all of a sudden it clicked, and then the game was over. Because <laughs> yeah. it's not a, it's not a long game. Not a long game. But no, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I loved the story. I loved the way it ended. I loved everything. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, you wait till you play the second one. I know. I thought it was amazing. Very yeah. Good. So. Loved it. More Baba news. Uh, so, so, uh, so Rosa, she, she's now six months. She, um, her her latest thing is uh, growling. She goes, <laughs> nice. nice, I like it. Like that a lot. And she, I feel like in the last week or so, she's leveled up in baby. You know, like in yeah. in, in rank. Like she's leveled up to. She loves. Like I think she's waving. I think. Because you yes, go, probably is. She go, hi, Baba, and she sort of just like slaps her hand like this. <laughs> right, so I think she's like waving. Dead. Um, and yeah. she, she, awesome. some, some things that I've, that we've that is very clear now is Rosa is a very, very happy baby. Loves smiling. Loves. Whenever I've seen her, she yeah. always looks happy. She's always she's happy, good. and uh, well, she, I mean, she does cry and stuff, but like she's really good around. Like you know, we went to a wacky warehouse thing because it was a, a birthday. Uh, party today um and she's never phased never bothered by noise she was watching me mow the lawn 
you know, we, we, we put the hoover on, we go, loud noise, loud noise, get ready, and she's never bothered, so she's she's pretty, pretty, um, she's, never, she's never phased or anything, she's, she's, she, she I like seems that, right. chilled yeah. like you, she's chilled yeah. like you, Ginny. So, uh, and she's always yeah. smiling, she, yeah, she smiles a lot, so, yeah, she's very happy, very That's lovely. what you want, yeah. that's what so you want. So there you go, more Baba news. So that's our Discord, Aww. thank you for writing on the Discord, if you want to write in on the Discord, there's a channel on the Discord that says questions for the show. It does. Yeah, uh, do you thank wanna... you for being in contact. Do you want to discuss what you, before we do the speed pads? Do you want to discuss what you put no. in the WhatsApp chinny? Yeah, I can do. So, so basically, so this has been doing the rounds this week. So the putting news first. There was a request for more sound clips. I'm just obliging people. The, there's a video game coming out this year called Star Wars Outlaws. I think this it's looks cool. I think this it's looking good. pretty pretty cool. Um, but game. there's been some controversy because of how expensive the game is. Now, the game is multiple bundles. Obviously, you can subscribe to the Ubisoft streaming service, which is £15 a month, and you can play all the Ubisoft games that you love, like yeah, The Division. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Um I haven't played the Division 2. That's a good yeah, game. Yeah, it's a good game. I like it. Um, yeah. Anyway. Far Cry, some description. Yeah. The Avatar mm. game that no one played. So yeah. so the base game... Everyone liked that, by the way. Apparently, it was really good. With the, so the base game for Star Wars Outlaws is... This is digital. Yeah. Is £60. Which is... I mean, that's accepted now. That's, that's okay. Standard. That's a standard thing. And that's with standard. that, you get a pre-order games. You get a pre-order bonus where you get some skin for your speeder and some other... Don't little pre-order bit, games, whatever. people. Some bullshit no one cares about. Never then then you've games. got the it's gold the gold edition. And I think this oh, is where the problems... This is where the problems start. Yeah. It's yeah. because the gold edition, the next step up, which is usually... 10 10 pounds yeah, more say 79 quid yeah. or something, isn't it? the the next 69. step up is 95 pounds 95 quid Ooh. right so oh, let me tell you let me tell these at all who's buying these deluxe editions let me tell you what you I'm get sure i know it does so so because it's just simple capitalism if people will pay ten dollars more for some stupid bullshit on a game they haven't played they'll pay it Thirty dollars more. So what you get is a three-day early pass, which is basically costing nothing, is it? it that, nothing, that costs them nothing. nothing. Let you play. Um, for, for the main thing that you get is the Star Wars season pass, which includes two DLCs. Bragging rights that will release after launch. Um, yeah, right, so, so you can pay for a DLC you don't know if you want for. And a they're probably no, going to sure be. be let's be honest, right? They're probably going to be shit. Yeah, because we're talking Ubisoft. They, we've never really they've never really done great it's not like you're going to get a sort of 10 or 15 hour expansion here is it you're going to get but some probably two couple, extra couple levels yeah but but yeah, i suppose the one there's one called jabba's gambit uh a mission available at launch so what what's definitely happened there is they've made the game and gone we can cut that part of the game yeah and sell, and it, sell and it, it separately yeah. right because people will buy it um and then there is another tier of the game, you'll be pleased to know, Duke, which is yeah. £115. Pounds, 115 quid. Uh, which includes the base game, yeah, like the early pass, the season pass with all the DLC stuff, Rogue Infiltrator bundle, including cosmetics for the main They're character. They're just skins. It's literally just skins. Uh, the shark bundle, which includes a new skins. cosmetic for the gun and the ship. and a, Yeah, but this is this is top draw. This is due. A digital art book. For four, if they were given, right? E, e, well, yeah, an actual be, book. Yeah, I was gonna, but even then, it wouldn't be worth it. Even if you gave you a hardback, well, no. cool illustrated book, it wouldn't be worth it. But I, I feel like it'd be book. more worth it. But no, this is just a nonsense. Yeah, stop that buying this nonsense. shit, people. Yeah, it's crazy. Simple. I think I think the, the don't buy this. Don't buy no pre-order games. Don't buy t- deluxe editions. My only my only like my only problem my only like problem with it is is the is the fact that you know that that mission is done because it's available at oh, launch. Definitely, yeah. And it's, this it's, is just a it's just a cash grab. So that, charging that's you thirty problem. quid for one mission. It's ridiculous. I feel like, yeah, I feel like. I, I really want to play this game. I really do. Like it looks it fantastic. It does look cool. It's an open world Star Wars game. Open That's world not Star Wars. Before, game. Except for, I mean, Old Republic, but yeah, not really. Old but Republic. but I, I'm struggling 
to to i mean obviously i'll pu- i'll buy the base game if i do wait, buy wait it. six months it'll be half price exactly like, what the fuck? exactly I, I, but then you what you're paying for is to play yeah bragging rights you bragging get three rights, days yeah. early yeah. Ah, you play it's amazing it's and no one else is playing it i'm special if somebody at ubisoft wants to pay me to say the 115 pound version is fantastically worth it and give me a copy of it for free. Yeah, I mean, we we got we got a podcast. We could promote yeah. your shit. Like I would sell out immediately for this game because it's yeah. looking great. And I don't even like Star Wars that much. It's just fucking laser swords. But what I liked about the trailer, hey. did you watch the trailer that I sent? By the way, I didn't. No, the, the, I the, not, what I, I liked, what I liked about, see, I try, listeners, I try. I know, to, I didn't to, look. I read the news. Right. Nobody got time for that. Um, I was listening to this no drum and bass got, mix someone sent me. No one's got. Oh, thank you, dude. No one's got time for. <laughs> For a two-minute trailer. Anyway, um, that's true. I don't. Uh, t- t- in the trailer, you, know I got my nails done, hair done, everything did. you don't get um, hate than more sound effects thing. By the way, I you don't get um, <laughs> laser swords and you don't get force powers really in the trailer. So it's of course not. You're you know. not a Jedi. No, you're not a Jedi. But you you're do get a ball. little. This isn't a Jedi game. You do get a, a laser little, blasters. A little glimpse of of carbonated hands. Hands solo really hate it duke i'm afraid i'm really yeah i I, I really hate this um yeah are you thinking this is gonna make me do it less yeah no okay just just so long as we're clear i don't want there to be any confusion about the how this works yeah yeah so anyway um but but that's what that's that that's a bit of news but we don't talk about news too much but no too much Uh, Uh, right let's do speed back if we do the flip your ass yeah, stick your beef up your ass. Let's do the standard speak pipe and then we'll do the quiz to round out the show. How about speak pipe? Speak pipe! It's the way to leave an no, ass no, One nice thing to have is a cheeseburger, but even better than that is an Ernsburger. Oh, yeah. This it one's is. from Dave Ernsburger. Hey, guys. It's uh, Dave hey. Ernsburger here. I, I hey. called in a few months ago or a long time okay ago. this is a speak pipe not a phone call you didn't call in you sent a speak pipe in get it right no i think it, you all to play yeah. death shut don't interrupt i was just i was only going to say i think he was a guest on one of our like 100 450 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. back again okay hey guys it's uh dave ernsberger here I, I called in a few months ago or a long time ago challenging you all to play death stranding i'm back again uh, i just wanted to say i really enjoyed your conversation about rocket league Probably for the first time in a long time, uh, yeah, Rocket because League. it seems to come up pretty regularly. But the focus you took this week on um, people acting out, uh, and you know, you were sort of asking a question: Who are these people that go absolutely oh, so much berserk down the microphone, and do they act like that in the that wider world? And it was a great discussion. I'm sure it landed with a lot of people. But I can tell you for a fact, um, at least from my own observations, that these are real people, and they don't oh, act yeah. like that in the wider, the wider world. Even, you know, my own son was one of these guys. Uh, he's about five years ago. I started hearing him shouting at people oh. in Rocket League, and he could sound like the kind of person you're coming across, to. And I was <laughs> horrified, man. I'm a gamer. Uh, so I started talking to him about that behavior, and uh, we eventually, I couldn't solve it, so we got some professional advice about it. And the professional advice was, hey, you know, this is self-medicating for this generation, you know, in a world where, kids don't have the interactions in person we had when we were young where the stresses are different for some kids this is self-medication and lockdown made it worse still so um it's uh it's definitely an issue it's definitely shocking it's horrible to see i don't know what to do about it but i'm definitely glad you guys talked about it that's very cool i appreciate that dave and i i i i i think you know, look, I'm addicted to Rocket League. I don't want to cast aspersions on other people without admitting my own dysfunctional behavior. You know, I probably should be reading more and exercising more and spending more time with IRL friends. Um, but that said, you know, it's a really fun game. So I'm not beating myself up about my addiction. I think as with all addictions, the most important thing is, and Julia Wirtz did a really good book. I'm rereading it now called Impossible People. Uh, the subtitle is a totally average recovery story. And it's about her like coming to terms with her drinking. Um, the important thing is to be honest about the good and the bad, uh, to extend that honesty into the rest of your life, and to recognize and take stock of the, the way in which this addiction of yours is affecting your life and the lives of people around you. So, you know, when the Duchess makes clear that 
you know, my sour attitude from Rocket League washes over other parts of our lives, I say to myself, okay, I need to put some fucking checks into this system that I'm playing so that I'm not having that impact on her, right? So I'll play a few games here and there. As soon as I have a win, I'll step away. When I feel myself getting angry, I'm like, all right, you know what? I need to play something else now and so forth. So Yeah, no, no, that's fair enough. Uh, I don't quite understand this self-medicating thing because I don't know. I guess it depends what's going on in your real life, I suppose. But I don't know yeah. how yelling I mean, and swearing at people in a game medicates you. It's not that. It's nobody, nobody does heroin because they love to drool on themselves, shit their pants, and get abscessed veins. And you can the do that without taking... the good feeling. You can do that, can without, do that without, without taking... The heroin. Yeah. Yeah, I, I shit oh, my yeah. pants all the time. <laughs> but I think his point is that the bad stuff is the is is the unhealthy aspect or the the unpleasant aspect of the addiction but the 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 thrill of victory the 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 will to rank again if you it, you know think about it this way look if you go to school like i did in middle school and high school and like you don't have very many friends you get picked on a lot by the other students and it's you know maybe you're struggling in some classes or you don't feel very good every day you can come home and you know you're good at Rocket League and you can pwn some noobs and you can, you know, score some goals. Like it's a it's a thrill, it's a fix. And yeah, I think mean, that's I the self medication part of it. Yeah, maybe taking your frustrations out on those people is a way that you can't do yeah. it in real life. I don't know. Yeah. And I think the danger is that then you lose sight of the fun, right? The yeah. fun you're having is 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 controlling other people dominating other people making people look stupid making them tilt because a lot of my students say the fun part is making people angry and i would say that i mean i get that i guess like if someone's angry then it doesn't take much to make them even more angry right but on the other hand i think that's a form of fun that has to do with spreading rage and misery and i play rocket league in order to have fun and to spread love and to try to have help other people have fun so, you know, I start every game with like, have fun people. And a lot of times people just shut the fuck up or no. And it's just like, okay, I know that they're joking in many cases. Cause it's like, I'm gonna, this person's being very positive. I'm going to respond with like a complete opposite. Get it? Like, it's not cute. It's not original, yeah. but I get it. Um, but I do think that, you know, what a lot of people need and I've seen it over and over in the game, man. I had a dude this week tell me like, this was the most fun game of Rocket League I've played in years just because i started out being positive and everyone else is like you know yeah there are too many angry children in this game and i'm like yeah let's just have fun so i think that's the danger is that people lose sight of the fact that we're supposed to be having fun and the best fun is to help other people have fun i like that that's a good way to finish on that i like it yeah right thanks talking dave of, earns talking of good ways to finish I'm, let's hey i love i love dave earns by the way i do he's got a so great he, voice by the great way voice, silky smooth, isn't he? I silky just... smooth. In the middle of the show. Just a great guy. I don't know what he does for a living, but I feel like he should be a news presenter. Yeah, like a radio you DJ. Hear the shy we yeah. talk. He's got a great voice. Right. Uh, All right, dude, we got a yeah, quiz, quiz, people. Time. It's a movie quiz. Here we go. I'm going to keep score. Everybody ready? You got your movie I'm thing totally and ready. caps on? Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> let's do this shit. Hey, let's do it. It's time for the quiz, as Mr. Pilch might say. Yeah, quiz. It's going to be based on original soundtracks I own for movies. I'm yeah. going to give you the original movie release year and two of the actors from the movie. And all you need to do to get the point is guess the name of the movie. Okay. And we're going I'm to ready. give you uh, targets to aim for, but to ensure a cliffhanger ending, I'm not going to give you those until after the quiz has ended. No, oh, okay. So here we go. Number one, 1975, Barry Bostwick and Susan Sarandon. 75? I don't know what Susan Sarandon was in back in 75. Was there just going to be the year and then the actors? Is that right? That's right. Year and the two actors, the yeah. two lead actors. I, fucking search me, man. See, I'm, I'm old. I'm old, but I'm not that old. I was three. Yeah. I was three when this movie and came out. And he's the one who knows all the years of everything, but I think we get before 1980 and he's lost too. I'm trying to think. Is it, is, uh, you see, there's, see, I'm trying to think what came out in those sorts of years that he would have a soundtrack for. Do you know what I mean? And like the only thing yeah, that I, I can she... figure out, I don't know whether she was in this, was the graduate, but that was like uh No, that wasn't Warren. Serious. Was it Warren Beatty or Dustin Hoffman? I can't remember now. It was, it was Dustin Hoffman. Hoffman. There was Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. And he would have been listed, so it's yeah, it's so it's not that. Uh what else could know. it be? Susan Sarandon. See, I know Thelma and Louise, but that was definitely not nineteen seventy five. 
Um, what else might Sheena have been in? Is it some? Will it be some sort of disco movie or something like that? I don't know. Was they in any musicals? I don't know. See, I feel like whatever soundtrack is going to be, it's going to be like disco. Rocky this... Horror Picture Show. That's a really good shout off, Darren mm, Sim. Uh, I think. I mean, we haven't got it. Is that Susan Sarandon? Yeah, she yeah, is. We haven't it. Got yeah, it. She I is, think is, Darren it. did get it. Yeah, I think yeah, Darren I think got it. Right. Oh. Because that's the soundtrack you own. Yeah, it is. So we'll put that down. We didn't get right. it. Uh, we'll, we'll obviously uh, credit yeah, Good Darren job, Darren. Thanks for spoiling it. All right, here we go. Uh, I think mean, that's right. I like, don't need to be a sweet transvestite to know that one. Oh, Jesus, he's giving us these clues. I didn't even, if I had said that, yeah, we would have gotten it. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. No, that's the Oh, wait, answer. I thought he was giving us the answers That's at the what end. I thought he said, but this is what I said. Derek, I mean, St. Diesel, what are you doing? All right, here we go, next one. Number two, 1976, Jodie Foster and Robert De Niro. Uh, uh, this was uh, Taxi Driver. Is it Taxi, taxi Driver? Taxi Driver. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully no one tipped you off that that was Taxi Driver. Yeah. See, I, knew, I knew that one. Number three. Let me know when you want to chime in. I can pause it. No, well, there was plenty of time. He was just saying number three. No, I paused it. That's why. All right, here we go. 1980, Shelley Duval and Robin Williams. Is that rom no? It wasn't the romance in the storm. No, not Robin Williams. No. Shelley Duval, Robin Williams, nineteen eighty would be. It wasn't Hook, was it? No. No. Was it? Was it? Good morning. Was it Good morning, Vietnam. No, that was later, and that wasn't Shelley Duval. Was it not? Shelley Duval. Nineteen eighty. I think that had a female lead, didn't it? Robin Williams, nineteen eighty. See Shelley Duval. And Good Morning Vietnam is like the earliest movie I can think of him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He wasn't in Ordinary People, though. <sighs> Not that I remember. I'm trying to think what a really early Robin Williams Rocky. movie is. Rocky, no. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. No, uh, we don't Morgan, know. Mork and Mindy. <laughs> that's around the 80s, wasn't it? Movie, yeah. yeah, it was. Well, I don't think it was Shelley Duval. I don't remember who played opposite him in the TV show. All right, we give up. Yeah, no. Tell us. You may have had to eat some spinach to know that was uh, Popeye. Oh, Popeye. Popeye. Yeah, that's... I forget. Why the hell would he have the soundtrack from that? I forget that Popeye has... There's a movie, a Popeye movie with Robbie yeah. Williams in it. it was the video great. game was all right. I mean, kind of. Not great. It wasn't Can great. I just check? Darren like Sims not saying he's never heard of Robin Williams. I'm just double-checking that's not what he's saying there. Yeah, I don't that's... know. That's, that seems like what he's saying, which is weird. Anyway, All right, next maybe one. he's really young. Maybe he's really young. Yeah. And number four, 1982, Daryl Hannah and Rutger Hauer. Uh, Blade Runner. Isn't that Blade Runner? Oh. oh. Was she in Blade Runner? Oh, yeah, you didn't hear was. Robin Williams' name in the question. Ah, oh. right, okay. Uh, yes, I think you're right there, Duke. I think it is Blade Runner. She plays right. like the weird android thing, doesn't she? And hey, she man, comes beep, back boop. in the new Blade Runner. Beetle boop. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. You may have found the answer if you flipped over a turtle that that was Blade Runner. Hey. Yay. Yeah, Darren Sim gave us a Robin Williams quiz ages ago. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got two so far. Here we go. Next one, number five. And number five, 1983, Kim Bassinger and Sean Connery. Oh, Connery. Uh, James Bond movie? No. No, no that was uh, Roger Moore by then. Right? His last movie was in the 60s. Six, 60s, yeah. 70s, mm, well, early 70s. Yeah. Last maybe. Bond movie. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what Sean Connery's last Bond movie was? Uh, was it Never Say Never Again? No. Well, yeah, technically, but that's not an official Bond movie. Oh, come on, man. Not an official Bond movie. Put this in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah, piss off. Not never a, say never no, again. when you count the Bond movies, I don't know how many there is now, like 24, Never Say Never Again is not one of them. It's, it's not a an, Bond movie. It's not an official Bond movie. It's still a Bond movie. It's not an official Bond movie. I don't care what you're saying. It's still 007. The, the, correct, the, the correct answer is Diamond's Eye Forever. Like anybody yes. fucking gives a shit. Anyway, anyway, what, what was, the, what was this we, one? Can we Sean, focus, please? John Connery and Daryl Hannah. 
Uh, Actually, you good. know I what? Daryl Hannah, I think, I think the 80s, I think Splash. You know what? Um, Kim Bassinger is in Never Say Never Again. Well, it must be that then. It must be. I've just what remembered. The hell? What yeah. the hell is the chances of that? Yeah. Kim yeah. Bassinger? Kim Bassinger's yeah, in Daryl Never Hannah. Say Never Again, yeah. Well, okay, it must well, be that then. Never Say Never Again. All right, let's see. You may have been shaken, you may have been stirred, but hopefully hey. you got the answer. Never say. Yeah. Never not again. an official Bond movie. But what are the chances? Coming up. Not a, <laughs> what are the chances I got? Go. That argument got you had that was so annoying. By you asking me a question. Turned out. <laughs> yeah. see, All right, knew, here comes I never the next knew she one. Were in it. <laughs> six through ten, I think. Let's see. Here we go. Number six, 1983, Ali Sheedy and... Matthew Broderick. Oh dear. Well, uh, hang on a second, though. I mean, obviously, Breakfast Club, but are there other movies that they were both in? I don't are they know, both in they... Pretty in Pink? Mm, I don't think Is he so. in Breakfast Club? Yes. Matthew Broderick. He's the nerd. Oh, Matthew Broderick. No, sorry. sorry, no, sorry is it, are we not part. talking about Ferris Bueller's Day Ferris Off? Ferris Bueller. Well, that's what I yeah, thought yeah, yeah. straight away when you said okay, that. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking Breakfast Club. My bad, my bad. Yes, no. Ferris Bueller. Sure. Uh, Ali Sheedy. Is that his sister? No, he doesn't. She doesn't play her sister. No. No, she's well, Ali Sheedy's not in Ferris Bueller. I don't know then. Because it's not his girlfriend. And it's, it's not, not thing, sister, it's not the Ali one Sheedy. where he's holding up the stereo, is it? What's that called? Where he holds Say up anything. The... That's not that's not Matthew Broderick. That's um, high fidelity. No. What year, what oh, year is it? Did we not do we nineteen eighty three, I think he's in. Did he? Three maybe? Let's play it again. Number six, 1983. Yeah. Ali Sheedy and Matthew Broderick. Well, there's no. The, yes, the, only, yeah, early, yeah. Uh, the no. only early Matthew Broderick film that I know of was Ferris Bueller and then there's War Games. No, there's one where he's trying to, like, fall in love with this girl. And he, he does a. I remember the poster and he's holding up, like, a ghetto blaster in front of her house. And yeah, he's that's not called saying, Say Anything. No, it's not. It's definitely well, not called that. I don't know that. what you're talking about then. What I'm okay. thinking of is definitely not called that. And I think it's well, that. It's possible that I don't know a movie but like that. But I can't that, think what it's called It's now. pretty remarkable to have two movies where girl by holding up a boombox. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, War Games, make, War Games is the thing that I heard that sounds best to me. So that would be my vote. Okay, let's go with that. I don't think it is, though. I don't think it is either, but uh, mm. let's find out. Mm. And if you played the game, I'm sure you got the answer. War games. Oh, oh snap! Oh, well done. Chinny for the win. Is right. Oh, it's John Cusack. By the way, uh, sorry, it's John Cusack. Fucking film, hell. The one I was thinking of. Fucking hell. Uh, Darren's uh, just correct. Uh, Chinny, can you hear me? Because I said the movie Say Anything has John Cusack in it. Oh, uh, did you? And uh, Stu said, no, that's not it. And then uh, when Darren Sims says it, he's like, oh, yeah, I guess it's the John Cusack movie. Oh, I didn't like, hear you say I just heard you say he was saying oh. anything, so I didn't okay, hear you. Well, I miss, I miss okay, well. I, I need to be louder. I'm often told. No, I'm who knew? Who knew? Dude, I need um, that's the John Cusack film. Did you know it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Hey, we're doing pretty well. By the way, we're do don't overlook you know? the fact we're doing quite uh -oh, well. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I need to calm down. Right, I'm come being on. too loud. Did you All know right. that Matthew Broderick killed somebody uh, in a car crash and then fled to America before he got charged for it? Did you know that? Not no, true. I didn't know that. That's true. No, it's not. Yes, John it Cusack? Is. No, Matthew no, Broderick. Matthew Broderick. No, it's not. 100%. 100% true. Killed somebody in a car crash, fled, I think it was Wales, fled to America before he could get charged. Oh, my God. Driving a rented car, he crossed the wrong lane, head on with the... Oh, my God. And her mother. Yep. Holy yeah. crap. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a Seems to be it like kind of a thing that Americans do in the UK, though, isn't it? Yeah, Just no say. recollection. He did not know why he was in the wrong lane. He was charged with causing death, faced up to five years of prison, but he was convicted of the lesser charge. Where's this fleeing into the U.S. thing? Because he, it basically, he, he before he got charged, he, he, he went back, he went straight back to America instead of going... To the, to the local police station. Yeah. Well, it looks like he was charged, but then he was convicted of a thing and paid a fine. I don't know. Mm. It doesn't say anything on the Wikipedia article about him running away. Yeah, but he's not, he's not in jail for manslaughter, is he? Which is what he well, should be. Well, that's a matter of the courts. That's not necessarily him. It's a matter of because I he's... I mean, famous people don't go to prison, do they? OJ just died. Have you learned nothing from recent Yeah, they history? don't go to prison. Right, anyway, that's not the quiz, so let's carry yeah, on right. with the quiz. Okay. <laughs> Fuck Matthew Broderick. Fuck him.
Now are we out of the woods? Are we out of the woods? <laughs> no, fuck Marky Mark. You fucking blinded a dude in a hate crime. All right, here we go. Number seven, 1984, Sigourney Weaver and Dan Aykroyd. Oh, is it got it? Well, uh, oh, it's Ghostbusters, isn't it? Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yes, it? totally. Yes. Okay. With a good soundtrack, I ain't afraid of no ghost. If you phoned someone, they probably said Ghostbusters. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did War Games have a good soundtrack? I don't remember the soundtrack uh, on War Games being. Wasn't it just bleeps and bloops? Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. It's probably a lot. Yeah, it was made by uh, Apex Twin. There you go. Number eight, 1987. Corey Hain and Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, that's got to be, uh, uh, be Lost Boys. The Lost Boys. Lost Boys. Lost Boys. A, uh, or is it a thingy? Stand by me. Uh, no, I don't think Kiefer Sutherland was in that. He, is. he was. He is. He is the both is in it. He's the yeah. he's the sort of twatty he's older the bully. guy. Yeah, he's the bully. Yeah. But they are in both films. Go. So mm. I'm, I I don't know whether eight seven. I think I feel like Stand by Me was earlier. I think that was earlier. Yeah, I think it was earlier. I think it was earlier. I think it is. I think it We're is. Going with be. Lost Boys. Yeah, I think Lost Boys. Lost Boys. All right. And you hopefully weren't too drained to guess. The Lost Boys. Yeah, hey, well we done. got it right. Well we got done. six done. What's Great up? Great soundtrack, by the way, to that. You're singing Wild Boys, Chinny. That's not. That's was Lost Duran Boys. Duran no, it was People Are Strange <laughs> was the standout tune on that. The cover of the boys. doors, wasn't it? Lost Boys. The Lost Boys are calling and then strapping me on this windmill for some reason. All right. Number nine. 1991. Bob Hoskins and Robin Williams. Uh, was that Hook? Ooh. Is this dead poet? Oh, it might society? be. It might be Hook. Hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, Robin. Who? Bob Say, Hoskins. Bob Hoskins. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. They were in Hook. Let's go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me or think about it? this. Let me think about Just it. Robin was Bob Hoskins in Hook, actually. <laughs> was he? No, actually, I don't think he was. <laughs> was he? The only thing I really know Bob Hoskins from is Roger Rabbit. I can't what, was, imagine what was the year? Was what was the year? What was the year? 1991. I can't imagine it's Dead Poets Society, though, because what soundtrack would that be? That'd be a weird, that'd be a weird carpe soundtrack, Carpe diem, it? carpe, carpe. <laughs> oh, he is in Hook. He is in Hook. Yeah, he would play some sort of he's, No, he's, he's, okay. um, he's the pirate. He's the... the, the Smee, isn't he? Smee, that's it. Yes, he's the pirate. There you go. Hmm. All right, so I got it in one. And you hopefully didn't have to fight any alligators to know that there was. You there you go. What's now? The seven, team. baby. Seven. Number 10, 1992. Steve Buscemi and Harvey Keitel. Um, Reservoir Dogs? Uh, They're both in that. Yeah, it must be, mustn't must it? Be, yeah. Yeah. Stuck in the yeah, middle yeah. with you. What oh, boys? That song's so What's about dogs? What's about dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what it is I should do. That's uh, great. He really great has an soundtrack. ear for music, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, he does. yeah. yeah and, I can really hear that song right now. And feet. He looks. And feet sucking uh, booze off of Salma Hayek's feet. He yeah. wrote that himself. He may have had to endure. <laughs> yes, for himself. I saw that thing on Reddit too. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Right. Man. We're a Mex Mexican standoff to guess. Reservoir dogs. I must say that was one of my favorite moments in Red Dead One was when they're having a Mexican standoff in Mexico and one of the guys goes, Well there must be a name for this and the other dude goes, It's called an impasse, son. And I was just like, Oh, the writing Mwah, it's great. The yeah. beauty of that moment. So good. All right, here's the next one. Number eleven, nineteen ninety three, Bob Peck and Sam Neil. Uh, was it uh, is that Jurassic Park is it uh... I think Jurassic Park was 92 oh it could be 92 no Jimmy and the Clonosaurus no, who's Bob... John Peck I don't know Bob, no, Bob, Bob Peck, Peck is the, he's... no it's Jurassic Park it's Jurassic Park it is Jurassic Park Which he's, the John Peck? he's the hunter clever, clever girl he's the hunter oh I got you okay fine fair enough yes and that was classic soundtrack and the, you know the Melodophone version of this Jurassic Park you heard that right <laughs> yes I have yeah. okay <laughs> If anybody hasn't, go look it up. You're yes, welcome. I and I'm sure you were clever boys and guests. Clever. Hey. Jurassic Park. All right, that's nine. Number 12, 1998, Stephen Dorff and Wesley Snipes. Blade? 
Blade. Um, Blade. Definitely Blade. Yeah. yeah you, did you, we're the, nailing did, these. Did you hear the story of Blade 3 where there's a scene where Wesley Snipes, he didn't want to make Blade 3. He didn't want to do it. And he's, there's a scene where he's lying on his back and the director says, right, all you got to do here is open your eyes. And he refused to do it. And then they had to CGI his <laughs> eyes open. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's true. Why do you want to do it? What's wrong with that? Because obviously Snipes is a fucking twat. Apparently. Yeah. He hates paying taxes. Uh, I can't resist. I got to play the Jurassic Park theme song. <gasps> Whoops. To Jurassic Park. <laughs> they do wow. move in herds. They do move in herds. <laughs> so um, can I just right. say, by oh, the yeah. way, just talking oh. about the Blade soundtrack. Yes. Uh, Yes. Amazing. Well, you two had the best soundtrack ever. Amazing mix. You know the bit where they're in the nightclub and they're like, killing yes. everybody. Blood Fountain, and, baby. And there's a, a remix of New Order Confusion. It's called the Pump Panel mm -hmm. Reconstruction Mix, and it's fucking incredible. It's yes. just but the Blade amazing. 2 soundtrack paired up all the rappers with the electronic artists, and there are some bangers on that, man. Most oh, Death amazing. and Massive Attack is the best one. I versus oh. that. Brilliant. All right, there's like five more seconds on this bit. Hopefully, you had a bloody good time and guessed Blade. But yeah, we got that already. All right, we got one more speak pipe. We got one more there set of questions. Go. We're almost done here, people. Thank you for sticking with us into hour uh, three. Yeah. <laughs> Number 13, 2000, and the actors Jack Black and John Cusack. Well, I know that. It's got to be. Uh, I, I think said it still, earlier. Is it, oh, is it? Oh, nope. it's been high fidelity. High Fidelity is High the Fidelity. One. I was going to say School of Rock and then remember John Cusack. Is this you? You're playing the new Bell Sebastian? Yeah, I like it. Well, it's shit. And he puts on Walking on Sunshine. Uh, that also had Tim Robbins in a very classic cameo and uh, getting stomped on by the crew. And if you hit the right note, I'm sure you answered mm. High Fidelity. Number 14, 2003. Jack Black and Joan Cusack. That was School of Rock, I think. Is she that is School it? of Rock? I don't remember. Yeah, I haven't she, seen it in a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. She plays the Richard teacher. Made it, she but... plays the teacher, okay, okay. the headmistress in the school. Who these like sits in the car. Obviously, cowpiver. he was in it, and it's a great soundtrack. So yeah. yeah, take your word for it. If you didn't hit any bum notes, oh, you surely you said School of Rock. We are nailing yeah. these. Number fifteen. 2004, Kate Winslet and Jim Carrey. Oh, was that Mass? Oh, uh, no, it's um, no? Eternal oh, Sunshine of the Spotless Diaz. Mind. Oh, 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 it was Eternal Sunshine. I love Spotless that mind. movie. Yeah. That's a great film. yeah, everybody bloody loves that movie. It's a bloody brilliant hey. movie. Oh, my God, so you clever. Sour Child. So clever. Yeah. <laughs> And if you could remember to answer, yeah. you hopefully said eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Number 16, 2006, Ian McKellen and Tom Hanks. <sighs> 2006, Tom Hanks. Is that, I was going to say Philadelphia. Astro, right? is that no, Philadelphia? I think Philadelphia's Astro. 90s. Yeah, it is older than I think that film. Uh, no, Castaway was 2000. Um, Didn't he play the was it, was... volleyball? Yeah. He's... Lord of the Rings? Tom Hanks was in Lord of the Rings, right? <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> wow, you fools! As, oh. as, as far as Gump, I just want to get to Mordor. <laughs> One does not uh, just go walking uh, into Mordor. Yeah. Um, I like the uh, X-Men? Is, is X Forrest Gump and X Men? No, I thought of it. You should have killed it, me when no, you had I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got what it. is it? What is it? Oh, it's, it. it's either Road to Perdition. No, it's not that. It's what's uh, the other one? Green, with, with the, the Green Mile. Is it? Is Ian McKellen in that? Uh, is Ian McKellen? I don't no. think I so. Don't no, was he I don't playing think that? Either the, the big black guy. Doesn't he play the big? 
<laughs> no, that was Forrest Gump. Yeah, that's oh. definitely, he's definitely on the green right, mile. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe um, he is kind of Forrest Gump. And that's definitely there. older than 2006. Uh, uh, I remember I was working at a bookstore. No, I don't know about that because in 1997 was when I was the books were coming out. This is bad because we've only got one other one wrong, I think. I think we've only got the first no, one. We, we got two wrong. We were at 50% at number four. Oh, uh, were we? But it's okay. Still, we're doing very well. We don't want to get this wrong. No. Uh, uh, come on, we must know. Uh, 2006. Tom McCallum's not a Toy Story, is he? I wasn't too far. 2006. Tom Hank films. Let's think Tom Hank films. Well, there's the one where he's in the airport. Too many of definitely them. not that. Uh, That's the terminal that you're thinking of. Yeah, it's mm. definitely not the terminal. That's like 2010 ish, I think. I was going to say, that's kind of around the, the right time, but it's definitely not that. No. What else is he in? He's in Forrest Gump. Toy Story. Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2. Toy Story 3. Three. Toy Story 7. 4. I feel uh, like this is a serious film, though, rather than a comedy or something. I feel like it's a... What else was he in? Tom Hanks, what's he been in? In the 2000s? Loads of shit. Um, I can't figure um, anything. You know what, I think we should say Road of Perdition, because that's the one I'm least confident about. Mm. No, I don't like it. I don't think Ian McKellen would be in a bloody <laughs> gangster movie, would yeah, but I? He's, I don't think so either. Yeah, well, no, I don't think so, but he's definitely not I'm going to kill your family. Sir Ian, Sir Ian, Sir Ian, Sir Ian. Jungle Motherfucker, <laughs> move out my <laughs> <The> way. <laughs> you know, no, uh, I don't think it is right position. I need to see extras again, man. Where can I watch extras? I don't know. Um, God knows. Uh, I think you should leave again. I all right, we got to say something. I'm not sitting here all night. I don't know. We got it wrong. That's the answer. Yeah, here we go. Let's just go. Clues. You would have got the answer. The Da Vinci Code. Oh, oh I, I've Jesus. never seen it. Never watched it. I've never it. seen it either. I'm watching <laughs> never that shit. watched it. All right, maybe one or two more. Number seventeen, final one from two thousand nine. Oh. Michelle Rodriguez and Sigourney Weaver. Is that one of the aliens? No. Well, I thought that, but it can't be, can it? What? What? What year? Two thousand and nine. Going away, you're 2009. It wasn't one of the Terminator films, was it? Don't know. She's not in the Terminator films. That's no, Sarah O'Connor. Oh, yeah, wrong person. Uh, what was, who's the other actress? Michelle Rodriguez, who's been in loads of stuff. Oh, uh, um, 2009. What else was she? She lies in? was way earlier. She was Michelle Rodriguez. She wasn't in like a fucking Fast and Furious film or something, was she? Michelle uh, Rodriguez was, was, but I don't think yeah. Sigourney no, that's Weaver. What I, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, was Sigourney Weaver. Uh, there wasn't any alien films. Uh, Avatar? Yes. Yeah, oh, Michelle's yeah, in that. Really yes, it that. is. Okay, okay. Well yeah, done, Chinny. Yeah, it is. Okay, look at Chinny. Well, we don't know if it is. And you hopefully weren't feeling too blue if you didn't answer. Ah. Avatar. Well nice. done, 13. Well, that is it for the quiz. Let's see how we did nice. on the targets. If you got one to eight, you're a bit part actor. Well, if you got that. nine to twelve, you're a yeah. scene stealing supporting actor. And if you got thirteen to seventeen, you're a critically acclaimed star. Wait, that's that's a... right, we are, and we just barely made it. Look at us. We did. Hooray! We should have. Yeah. There was, there's none of them where I thought, oh yeah, we should have definitely got. That. good quiz you know it's not fun if you get them all instantly but it's not fun if you don't get any of them again it needs to be fair and it was a good quiz it was a good quiz Derek thank you I was worried that we were gonna have rankings because that's what it's all about you could say we mill we only missed four that's fine but to say we are show stealing awesome people that's yeah pretty impressive uh, all right well, it's time for some shout outs and get the hell out of here. So we'll. I add it to the shout out jingle. You ready? It's time yeah. for a shout out. Hey! I think a big thanks in order to all of my supporters from the borders of. Jesus. That in a song recently. Bloody, I was like, yeah, I did music to stuff. I uh, know. Jesus God. Christ. Do you know, we got a copyright. I'm not going to get interrupted by stupid sound effects. Yeah, I know we did. From a show from friggin' ages ago. I know we did. I was like, I'm not going to get struck hell? for that. No, they, they aren't listening. Max and. It's you know, not it's them, the it's the AI, AI isn't it? The AI fucking... is going, hey, no, this is a uh, published well. by such and such a body. You can't play that on your show. Um, Why does yeah, my chitty. life always work out perfectly? Chitty, over to you. Shout out. 
shout out to Rosa. I like it. Yay, Rosa. Light off. Cute. She is very cute. She is. Shout out to my friend Graham, who invited me to a poker night on Friday. And I nice. Went. Did you win? Did I bollocks? But this was uh, this is yeah. like a this is a proper poker night, like in a proper club, right? Oh, All right, okay. And but this is like a it's not like a casino. This is like a, 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 a legit well, in a basement. Uh, it's in, no, 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 like, no. It's in, like it's in a, with guns and stuff. No, it's in a club, right? Where mm. there's like pool tables and there's a bar and there's like chess boards and there's ludo boards and there's like. And then there's poker. a, and then it, right at the back there's like like about ten poker tables, right? Yes. And I'm I'm playing poker, and I, I, you know I'm sitting with just every everybody's a stranger on this table to me. And I'm like, all right, all right, hey, what are you doing? Chain, chain, chain. And then one person said, well, it's illegal to play poker tournaments here, like at this scale, because they don't have a gambling license. And I was like, what? Oh. And I was like, well, it yeah. Really was. Whoop, whoop. And I was, it like, was like, so I was like, club. are we playing illegal poker right now? I was like, well, you know, like it's kind of blurred lines, but sort of, I suppose. It's like they don't have a gambling license. You know, you want it. So I was like, so what are the rules? And he was, I, I wasn't really sure what he was saying, but he was a bit of a crazy person. I think he was on a lot of cocaine, this guy. Oh. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, and then the other guy I sat next to clocked that I like video games and would not stop talking about The Witcher. Like the TV show. And he was like, have you watched the Witcher TV show? Have you watched that? I was like, oh my God. And at one point, one person on the table I don't says, have a TV. One, per- one person said, I'm here to play poker, not talk about cartoon characters. And I went, um, they're video <laughs> games, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like me. Well, Thank they're God. actually, they're book characters, so oh, excuse me. Um, anyway, so shout out to Gray, shout out to Rosa. Yes. And Rosa. Shout out to MC Rosa. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's done. There you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, I'll shout out Duke for continually playing sound bites that he shouldn't. Yeah, uh, and not only not only the ones that annoy Chini, but the ones that he shouldn't play because we get a copyright strike. So you know, how, how quick I've got to press the mute button. Every week, it's just a game of will Duke play something where I have to quickly mute that he it. Should. And when you're not here, it's an absolute nightmare. You kind of just say he plays yeah. all sorts. Uh, I'm going to agree with Duke. I'm having a look now, and he is correct. And also those it's... kind of sound clips where sound clips <laughs> where you don't sound even know clips. you don't even know their sound clips for the audio listeners. They just think we're talking. Those are the worst <laughs> ones. So this could be a sound uh, clip now, and you don't know. That was a sound effect that, that totally threw me. Then, that See one. that one? Oh, what are them? God. What are them? See that? That's it. Oh, God. Sorry. Uh, and I'll shout out little Rosa because she's very cute. Apparently, oh, you know, we've not seen her for I'm a little. Not bit. shouting out Rosa. No. I'm sure she's very cute. She's cute. There you go. Yeah. Cute, cute, uh, cute. Duke. Oh, and yeah, Gary. shout out Rosa because she's so cute. For all the work, by the way, oh, putting yeah. on the nice. quiz. Yeah, and Michael Lindberger for sending in the yeah. speak pipe I about like Rocket his League. His name's wrong. It's great. Yeah. I, I like uh, Lord Sains or whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Shout out Jacinta at the end of the podcast. They want me to shut up, so I'm going to have to talk fast. Uh, yes, Rose is very cute. That's adorable. Uh, Chinny's holding her up on the screen. Mm-hmm. I will shout out uh, Amar and Jason Gallahar for sending emails, and shout out Tyler Quick, and shout out uh, the Duchess, and shout out uh, my friend Pete because he uh, came over to see the goats with his son, and shout out Poland because the Duchess is going there next weekend. So I'm gonna be on my own. Oh snap! Bachelor. Oh, yeah. bah, 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 bah. I'm gonna be milking them goats. Actually, I don't have to milk the goats. She found out that it's probably better if I don't milk the goats because then they say she's sort of like you can just the, sit in your pants the kids and play will eat video it, games. And then I'll just sit in my pants and play video and games. And eat greasy something. I don't know. Yes. Greasy, greasy things. It's very strange what Eric picks like as a sound effect. Oh my god. Right. All right, are we done? I think we're done. Oh, so okay, good. thanks for listening, everybody. All right, show's over. No refunds. You heard the robot. Get out. Won't you? Won't you? Won't you? Won't you? Won't you? Just switch off the television set and go and do something less boring instead. See in that hole and watch TV. Turn it on and go to the
There you go. Another week and another show. There you go. There you go. Put these in my speak pipe folder. I don't know why I save all the speak pipes. There's really no reason to, but mm. you never know. You never know. You never know. You know. Could be saved as epithets. Up 83 promotions. Oh, no. I want to sell up 158. Oh, I sell them all. Dan Simpson. All right. That are we was, done? That was class. That quiz. Class. It was a good quiz. I like quizzes. It like was a good that. quiz. Yeah. Thanks, man. They're tough as well. They're tough. But like you say, if you get the answers, it's like tough, but only tough. Just tough enough. Tough, tough, tough enough. enough. Yeah. Just you don't want to enough. miss them all. You know, you want to miss half of them. The only name, no. that, the episode name I got was Unfun. I think Duke said Unfun at one point and it amused me. Sure. Yeah. That's pretty I like how I put something totally random. I know. The Duchess I was, was at like... the store and there were. There was there was this spice mixture called butt rub for like pork, you know, rump roast or whatever, and she sent that to me and I was like, <laughs> so then when it came, I, I just went right into the show notes and I was like, butt rub for I hot it, rub. And I saw it and I was like, I, have, I said to Kay, I have no idea what the reference to, but he's funny. <laughs> she was laughing. She was oh, laughing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like, a great title. Yeah, no, I liked it. Just yeah. tickled that it actually made it through. I did. I just put it in. I was like, yeah, I like it. I don't know what it means, but it's definitely yeah. noticeable. That's you know right. I mean? Gonna notice yeah. it. Yeah. Cool. All cool. right, fam. Have a good week. Okay. Duke That's it. out. Good night. Good night, Duke. Good night, Mike. Tora a bit. And uh, yeah, speak to you next week. Speak to you next week. All right, mate. See you soon. See ya. Oh, we never chose to play my game, bitch. Well, I've got one. Go on. I've got one. Botany Manor. Botany it's Manor. not what you think. It's a puzzle game. Botany Manor. Botany, Botany Manor. Botany Manor. Botany Manor. It's, Botany. Getting, it's getting pretty good reviews, so I reckon it's worth it a on look. on Glam Plus? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's on Glam Plus. Yeah, it only came on this week. Botany. So we'll give Botany Manor a go. I'll, I'll let Duke know in the, in the, in the in your WhatsApp. Okie dokie, mate. Speak to you soon. Okie dokie.